Life's just like going fishing, man. It's just, you know? Life it's is like, life's like fishing. Life's like music production, bro. Put on a, <laughs> and music <laughs> production is just like fishing. So. <laughs> and fishing is just like music production. And then so music like, production is just like life. Yeah. So. two goldfish i called them fish and chips <laughs> they, they they died no oh, no i could have left that last part out they were, <laughs> they were delicious <laughs> oh you're I, funny i'm yeah. so funny dude i'm number six is yes, there. I'm like, yes. yeah but that does mean that there are five people funnier than you. yeah no sorry. it's kind of fucked up yeah, sorry, yeah. exactly five yeah, we don't have to die better luck next year we don't have to we don't yeah. have to uh, <laughs> Hi, welcome to the I'm Peaking Podcast. I'm G Zoom. Today we have a question of the day. It is. <laughs> who do you think the funniest DJ or producer in the scene is right now? That's a good question. Ooh. Eliminate. Eliminate. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not biased. Or <laughs> Just a little. Who do you think? Who's who's your pick? Are you talking to me? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you. you. Pick first. Oh boy, that's uh, you know I haven't thought about this question since I got here. If I had to say the funniest, I think uh, Underbelly. Okay. Right? You suck at producing. Yeah. Ooh. Look, you guys, you guys Deep didn't cut. want to talk production, but if you were a producer, no nerd, you'll probably know who that is. If I mean, not, I was gonna say I think G Zoom is the yeah, is the yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, hilarious. That guy's really funny. I'm honored, but again, I'm biased. <laughs> biased. <laughs> Tiesto, I mean, I, Tiesto has like really funny. Does, is Tiesto. That's true. Yeah. Oh. He's got really funny dance moves. <laughs> no, he's just a funny guy. You know? Is he really? Oh. Just being up there. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> hilarious. It's <laughs> <laughs> fun to watch. Or, or uh, if we're going off that, uh, Shaq is a good one too. I was Shaq. Really Shaq. 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 I was uh, yeah. gonna say like Subtronics or like Crank That. They're okay. funny. Yeah. I just like mm -hmm. how Shaq is uh, about like four or five feet over the decks. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, yeah. like you can see it's all the way from the section up. I just remember him like I have a core memory of him. It sounds more like funny looking. Well, fun, funny looking. It's, just, it's, like, it's like funny wild looking to see like a seven foot tall yeah, man. Yeah, what are like, we talking about? What's funny then? Is it funny to watch? Funny to listen to? Or funny to watch their content? I think know? it just depends on who. It's too open ended yeah. of a question, guys. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you get a little closure on the end of funny. If it's just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what kind of funny? Because Shaq for me. using like one finger to like wheel a tune. I was imagining that too. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Or stopping the decks with his dick by accident. You know? Oh, oh my god. Funny. Dude, that joke was so funny. Sorry about that, guys. Wait, wait. Was it a joke or what? Did it actually? Actually happened. Oh, I'm sure it actually happened for sure. No, it actually happened. Oh shit! No because Micah, mind. Micah, there was Micah's uh, song that was playing. That and is then he, so he funny. He told us he was like, "Dude, Shaq's dick stopped my song." <laughs> Wait, oh, it actually did happen. Was, yeah. Uh, okay. That's but, funny. Uh, Dope. You guys, what is what is your favorite? Yeah, let us know. Funny DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think Dylan Francis too has been oh, yeah, you know, in the yeah, game yeah, for a yeah. long time. He's been that's always kind of been his thing. Yeah. You know? I'd ha I'd have to throw in chill just because ever since I've known yeah. her, her comedy sometimes. Dude, it's just she's like she's got like such a like her delivery is just yeah. like I don't know it's just really good. It's just yeah, meme, meme queen energy, bro. Exactly, meme. exactly. So, uh, anyways, let's go off with uh, introductions, please. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Can you guys introduce oh, yourselves I'm, real quick? I'm sensing some attitude. Please <laughs> introduce yourselves real quick. I'll introduce myself. Hi guys, I'm Devin. Welcome back to the Ambiguous Podcast. Uh, Oh to, yeah, no, we, we're saving the best for oh, last. Yeah. Oh, and I'm Mickey. I'm Nand, and I'm G Zoom. Today we're joined by a very special guest. The uh, infamous snare roll incident is this man's <laughs> claim to fame. Or if you're like me, you found him playing wonky glonky beats at Bass Pod at four wonky in the morning. Wonky glonky. Yes, love that. Uh, please Guilty. welcome the man, the myth, the legend in the EDM and producer communities. Eliminate. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, burr, burr. We, we have those buttons. We need to learn how to use those. We do. We have I, those buttons? I yeah, actually, we have the I've actually learned how to do that. It's just I have to go download the sounds. Wait, I, hold, I could do it real quick. Hold on. Oh, wait, I have an it? app too that has wow. it. A DJ Airhorn app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like literally I have it just on I was on at a house party uh, probably a month ago and a guy was doing that unironically. Really? Every, yeah. every single one, yeah. I don't think he knew how to do oh, it. I have to. It has to re-download. So when it's when it's done in like ten <laughs> Wait, minutes, I'll yeah. just do it. Dude, like, yeah. right. that. I won't, but I won't. That. I won't like interrupt the podcast. <laughs> Dude, where is so. mine? Ah, oh, I I used to have it. Oh, on and it's here. already done. Okay, that was so nice. Fast. That was so fast. Hold on. Uh, okay, hold on. 
shit, that's the wrong no. app. No. 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 That's not the, that's the wrong app. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I had it. Wonky Technical swear. difficulties. <laughs> Sorry. I swear this has an air horn on it. Is it not? We need the uh, code, bruh. We need the uh, the sound. Fuck. You know the, <laughs> dude, dude, I swear. I love that song. <laughs> we need the puffer fish. You know the puffer fish with the carrot? It's the, okay, oh, you try. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's from. Oh. Yeah, so you need Have a bunch you of heard those. that sound? The the meme of the puffer fish getting oh, the oh, carrot wait, stuck in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got Do you that. have that one too? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He, he's got all the memes oh, ready to go. This whole podcast can just be him playing like sounds off of his I'm phone. so down, actually. Yeah, Hold that's up. Insane. Uh huh. It's gonna be a minute. Oh. We'll be here a while. Stand by. We'll be right back. That's the whole clip. Is this like a ghost recording, like an EVP or? That was the whole clip. That was the clip. <laughs> that was the whole clip. That was, that's that's that was incredible. That was amazing. That was, that was fine. Fine. That was that was fine. Fine. So you just dropped an album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not as important as the puffer fish. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. but, uh, but like, I just wanted to ask and uh, I wanted to commend you on that, uh, that song F underscore CK uh, you. Uh, it's, an inst- it's an instant classic. Thank care you. To, care to give me a little bit of background on. Maybe? You want the lore? Yes, please. So, lore. yeah, I make a lot of stupid, silly songs just for fun and, yeah. and don't ever like put them out. And then that one, um, I I have like a it started as a voice note I just like couldn't sleep one night and I, I don't know sometimes I have like melodies in my head and I'll just hum them into my phone like and then just put it away and come back to it later <laughs> and that one I was just started singing like the the can we do we swear on here yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do so I started sing, singing the f underscore ck you yeah uh just lying. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. I started saying fuck you into my phone and like just singing it. And then I came back to it later that week and just actually turned it into a song. For you to use that just, one. Just for fun. And I sent it to my managers like, I made this. haha, LOL. <laughs> and he was like, what? The, this is a hit. Put it, yes! she like, what? <laughs> He's like, put it on the album. And I was like, sleep. wow. I love that. Okay. Awesome. I love how the words yeah. fuck you came to you in your sleep and then you're like this is gonna be a song <laughs> yeah it's not like a aggressive fuck you though it's like something it's a I would really playful song well it's like something I would I would be like fuck you suck my dick like it's like if I like stub my toe or something <laughs> yeah. like, uh, it's gotcha, not gotcha, like gotcha. I'm like saying it to the listener you know it's I like, was gonna say it also speaks like to another level because some of the other songs are the more aggressive style that you're used to but then the <laughs> one that's called yeah, fuck yeah. you is like the pretty it's the wild card yeah, yeah. that's why it's like kind of sitting around three quarters of the way through just like a little break so you're making silly songs all the time just making silly songs um, yeah that's that's what you do what would you say that you do if you had to tell somebody that had no idea who you were what would you say oh I, if i ever get asked that question i just say i'm a music producer okay. like if an uber like in an uber you know this is like what do you do for a living it's like oh i just i'm a music producer okay you know? oh yeah it's the easiest i think universal answer yeah, yeah. well it's a it's a catch-all answer You're not yeah, yeah like it kind of encompasses like everything i don't I don't have to like just dive into one niche that kind of covers a lot of it so so with, with regards to music then if it's like kind of a lax chill thing on your album is there a song that you like the most do you like the silly songs the most do you like the serious I, stuff i've been asked that question a lot this week and i still don't i never really thought about it so i don't think i have like a personal favorite sure. mm-hmm. um do you think that maybe it's like about the process then? Like that mindset is what keeps you making stuff? Like what is it? Oh, I just like making music. I've always liked yeah. making music. That's just what I like to do. <laughs> so and I, I have done it now for like half of my life at this point. So How old are you? um thirty one. Huh? And uh yeah. where how'd you how'd you catch the bug? Where'd you discover music production? How'd you get into it? Uh like two thousand and nine is when I like learned you could even make music on your computer. Okay. And that was like I was like my second to last year of high school and i really wanted to start a band when i was in high school Sick. um same. but i couldn't find anyone to start one with yeah. me same you yeah, could have been a goes. one-man band well that's <laughs> kind of what i ended up realizing i could sort of do by yeah. just like making music by myself on my computer i feel like yeah. a lot of producers especially ones my age have that same kind of uh like spawn point where they're like yeah. oh i want to mm-hmm. be in a band and it's like really hard to start a band if you don't have like yeah yeah People, just like fuck it i'll make people. one on the laptop yeah <laughs> like Friends. yeah i i like i knew how to like do like the i could play a basic drum beat and i was like i'm ready to start a band <laughs> yeah. but i was like oh i need someone that knows how to play guitar yeah and bass and sing i right. can't do any of that shit so i was like you need you other know. people to fill those holes and then also yeah. you need somebody that like wants your musical vision yeah or you need to find a way to marry you gotta that fuck with vision. the vision dude yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like hard to like you know get multiple people to fuck yeah. with the same vision yeah, you know? yeah. I, def- like, I definitely did the whole like 
oh yeah, I know how to do guitar tabs. Let's start a band now. Yeah. <laughs> you can like read them. Yeah, I can read yeah, guitar, I can tabs. Read guitar like, tabs. All right, time to start a band. Yeah. <laughs> I, bought a guitar, I bought a guitar, mom. You learn hot cross buns on the piano. You're like, let's start a yeah. band. <laughs> the only thing I know on the guitar. Oh my God, hot cross buns. That's a fucking deep yeah. cut right there. Dude, I, for me, it was popping oh, popcorn. Shit. Pop, huh? pop, popcorn popping in a pot. I don't think I know that one. Yeah, Absolutely I don't think I know that. yummy, whether buttery or not. Okay. I've never Is it just me? One. Or does, <laughs> hot, yeah. does Hot Cross Buns kind of sound like Mo Bamba by Shaq Hot Cross Buns. <laughs> 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 I'm going <laughs> to make a mental note of that for a mashup buns. later. Okay, so thank you. Lost. Tag me. This, this is piano, piano stuff. Have you heard uh, Hot Cross Buns? Nope. No? Yeah. Okay. Somebody I feel educator. like unless you learned piano, like... Or like the um, person. I think I first learned it on like a recorder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. In middle school, You're right? When somebody hands you oh that. Oh my god, bro! My parents were so annoyed at me when I had a recorder because I was yeah. just like playing it. I got, I got pretty I good on that thing too. I don't know what I was like, doing. Can you be year. good on a recorder? Yeah, got, yeah it's I'm possible. Yeah, yeah. I got my. Did you guys have like the grading system, like the black, the black, like ribbons to like show how like good you were, or like nope. how if you. T- what? Okay, we did uh, like a black belt for recorders? yeah, yeah, like belts, like like karate belts. Dude, ranked we had, recorder, yeah, playing dude, no, we wild. had that for our <laughs> recorders in my elementary school, and I got all the way to the last one, and I got you the know, last one. It's moments like this that I realize why he's such a competitive human being. <laughs> He had ranked recorders. Yeah, that's like, and you're like, what, eight years old? That's so early development hey, right you know, there. I did sports my whole life, okay? I'm always just sports. And apparently a way. recorder as well. Yep. Yeah. I feel like a big part of who would win that battle would be just the performance itself. Like how much energy you put into it as opposed to the sound so of the So like recorder. a recording battle. Right. Yeah. 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 Like you would just, you, the more you jump around, yeah. the more you battle. really blow <laughs> into that recorder. <laughs> Yeah. Did I miss it? <laughs> record what? battle. Ah, oh, record battle. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, well, reeling it back into your album, I just was curious to, to know why, uh, like, what's the story behind Get Off the Internet? Like, why? Oh, I love that song. Um. So the, the that song and the title and then that the ended up being the concept for the album, actually, yeah. the original lyric, I didn't even think of myself. It was my friend Fussy, who's the singer on that song. Got it. Um, okay. Yeah, we were just like having a session and I had made this beat the morning uh, before she came over mm-hmm. and it was like the stripped down instrumental version of like, the final song and it was it had like kind of some like just random Foley keyboard, Foley mouse yeah. click sound effects and then she was, um, I was just playing it on a loop and she was just like just kind of messing around writing lyrics and then she, ha- she had already had something written down that she just found in her notes and it was, yeah. hey stupid idiot, get off the internet and I was like, <laughs> That's, that's it. it. That's I was the like, title. Yeah, like write that down, even though she already had it written down. And I was like, that's <laughs> like, write it down again. Yeah, let's, I, I love that. I love that so much. And it was like also just instantly resonated with me because, like, yeah. like, I'm, you know, I'm idiot. Get off the yeah. internet, you know? Like, <laughs> and I, I, I was, yeah, I don't know. I just, I loved it. And then I was like, it's also just super catchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she, I just kept working on the beat and she kept writing lyrics. Yeah. And then we just recorded that same day. And then, like, by the the night I had, like, after she left, I just kept working on the song, and I had, yeah. like, the first version of the yeah, yeah. of the final song, so. I mean, I, I feel like it's it applies so much to, like, our generation, too, and it's, like, and especially us all here as content creators, you know, like, that's literally our job, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah. like, we have to be on the internet to, like, make a living. Yeah, that's, that's another thing is, like, I, I feel like when I... When you say like get off the internet, you, you probably I don't know a lot of people are probably like oh it's probably like uh, he probably means like oh dude we're all like yeah. slaves we're slaves to the internet yeah, like exactly. get off your phone it's like no fuck no dude the internet is sick I love the internet it's dope but also just like you know log off Take for a like break. a little bit yeah. 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 yeah that's kind of the it's supposed to be kind of like fun and playful like that it's not it's not a super yeah. Yeah. deep serious it's deep rooted meaning tune out once in a while yeah <clears throat> is it yeah, um get off a little bit you know? balance isn't fussy mm-hmm. also the singer of Rocker World. Yeah, she's on um, a few ISO and Noctu songs. Nice. She's, she's an incredible songwriter, very talented, just all around. Like, good vocals. Nice. Yeah. So I think that's also a part part of what makes like the, the your music good in particular is that like you're able to find a way to put personality into yeah. electronic music, mm. where a lot of new producers or a lot of new artists in general, like I don't know, sometimes it all sounds the same. It's like what you get, and just the mm-hmm. the idea that you're seeing something on somebody's phone that one yeah or whatever yeah. it's just like it's it's a natural thing that happens and it's just to like breaking and, boundaries it's yeah. like yeah i'm gonna do what i want at this point yeah yeah i mean it's if you like kind of hear something and instantly like resonate with it i think that helps a lot rather than just trying to force something out you know mm-hmm. so yeah, is, is there something like i mean you say that you've been making music for a long time 
and you're making music with the idea that you want to make it fun because you're having fun doing it. Mm -hmm. So is there any kind of message behind the music or maybe something that you would want to say to somebody before they listen to the album if this podcast like piques their curiosity? Um, kind of, I don't know. Like I, like I was kind of touching on a minute ago, I don't really look at it as like, I don't really try and convey this deep yeah. underrooted meaning. At the same time, I like to be super dramatic, you know? <laughs> so it's for the show. Yeah. Like the <laughs> outro song is like this big cinematic score. And oh like, yeah. And like, I did all this whole vision. I was like, I went through your album and I was like, oh, this last song is like nice. Yeah. Like, and, it's and, so like, and it's like very emotional and, yeah. and all this shit. But I, I was just like, I don't know. I just like, I liked writing these chords and mm -hmm. like, doing these cool little glitch effects that all feature the rest of the songs on the album. Yeah. And then it's this big dramatic build up into like one mouse click. And it's like this just big, you know, yeah, you know, it's dope. ending moment. And it's like, damn, that must like, that must have came from the soul. And it was like, I mean, I, I, kinda, I guess, but yeah. mostly I was just like, you damn, these chords are sick. Like, yeah. <laughs> did, did, I, I just have to ask just because, you know, I was mentioning off camera that I just, I love Don so much, mm. uh, you know, and did you, did you come up with that intro or like, I mean, obviously you and Flux collabed on it. But. No, Flux wrote, so Flux did the, he sent me that, the stems for like the whole melody, that really, really catchy melody. Yeah. Um, he wrote all of that and he, he sent it to me as like a, just like this whip that he'd been playing out. Mm -hmm. He's like, hey, I mean, I'm stuck on the song if you want to work on it. And like, I, I heard the melody and I was like, this is, this is insanely good. Like, yeah. this is, and I also just heard ways to like, make it like, I don't know. I it, it instantly harder. got ideas for it. Yeah. Like, um, so he, he sent me the stems, like, I forget, I don't know, sometime in the first half of last year. And yeah. I, it was like right around EDC, I think. So I, I was oh, like wow. busy with all that stuff. I didn't really get to start working on it until like June or something. But then I just, yeah, I just started building off of it. Yeah. And um, I talked a bunch about this on like a more in-depth uh, video I put on my YouTube channel but yeah. about like how the song kind of came to be. But like the mm -hmm. TLDR is that I like just heard the melody. I heard it in like a kind of like a sing-along type sense yeah it, it's one of those songs for yeah. sure like it, it's just it is just so goddamn catchy like, yeah that's what i thought the same thing i was like this is this is too good to just like be a a whip that's gonna get like you know put in the unfinished folder forever so yeah. i was like yes I, I would love to work on this and i had uh i had uh fussy who's also on um get yeah. off the internet um she wrote her and this other guy greg um they did all the they wrote the lyrics and then mm -hmm. i had greg do the um kind of like the the singing and the build-up yeah the background singing mm -hmm. and once i had all that like um into the song finally it was like it was starting to finally like come together and i was like this is this is like really cool because that's kind of how i saw the song happening the whole time it was yeah like, mm. yeah because that beginning <clears throat> we actually uh listened to it on our uh bonus with uh, gta the last time we were here oh, sorry. and yeah and because i just i'm obsessed with the song so but it's funny because when we played the beginning like mickey was like i feel like we're going through space mountain right now <laughs> yeah. like that beginning is like that it's got that dramatic feel so i just yeah. i was just curious to know if like yeah if it was, was... i don't know like it was it that's how the the kind of crazy winding down little arpeggio since yeah thing that, that was how the whip started too and i was like this is oh. just such a cool way to start a song it's yeah. just like psh. That's incredible. Nice. Yeah. Was yeah. there anyone Wait. in particular that like pulled you into music? You know, like there was, I mean, it, God, I hate the, it's the basic sounding question. Like who are your influences? <laughs> but, like, who, who pulled you in? Like when you were listening to, I guess, electronic music specifically, like who was it that? If you want to go all the way, like I could start with like way earlier roots before I even had dance music or anything. But if it's strictly dance music, like the first artists I probably heard were like, first dubstep artists like me and like a gajillion other people would be Skrillex and yeah, then like before yeah. that it was like Daft Punk and Deadmau5 and yeah. stuff okay. and then but I didn't really listen All to the them classics. that much yeah okay. like I knew who Daft Punk was and I knew who Deadmau5 was but they weren't like I mean I was like I don't even know how old I was young like you know yeah. that's like late 90s Man and I are almost 30 so. so we're like not too far off from you <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah so, so yeah it's it's that's like I knew what like dance music was but I wasn't like super into it at that age and then um yeah i'd say around like 2010 mm -hmm. is also when i started producing so that's when i got really heavily kind of a lot more into it yeah was it just the fact that you were producing that made you into making that kind of stuff like it was so i i had started producing before i had heard like dubstep or anything so yeah. i was just making like terrible hip-hop beats with like the stock fl studio kit Sick. sounds yeah. um so and then literally the the day after i heard i think like 
uh, my first Skrillex song or something. I was like, how does, <laughs> how did you do that? How yeah. to? How to? <laughs> I how? feel like that's, I feel like that's the, like, everyone is just like, what? Yeah. Because it was like so unheard of. Yeah. Like, it was, yeah. No, it was mind blowing. Even if you go back now, <laughs> like 14 years later, it's still just mind blowing. Yeah. yeah and it you, just, it, it's crazy. crazy. Cause like, so, uh, I'll, I'll let everyone else know, but, um, Gra Grayson and I are actually working on a script right now for, um, <laughs> I have this series, uh, called, um, uh, DJ fans that Nand and I started mm. and uh, we basically we kind of just like make fun of like why are you okay. laughing so much because you just said we make fun of DJs oh yeah well no yeah. we make fun of their fan bases uh, right? yeah. and it's like things that their fan base would say so we're working on a Skrillex one right now and yeah. we like did I, I did a ton of research and it's so <laughs> interesting because what everyone says is like the dubstep like you know Skrillex created dubstep or brought dubstep over mm -hmm. here it's actually funny because over in the uk that's not true at all bro. No, like, yeah. he no, brought no, no. his own version of dubstep over here which they call is the, it they call our dubs bro, american dubstep yeah or bro step yeah. like that's yeah right and so uh, meanwhile and and so it's funny because you know he's kind of come full circle right to now where he's making stuff that's more accurate to what like Dude, the uk just dubstep a, a grammy, is bro. yeah no say, exactly just grammy, which is please. like incredible by the way like fuck fuck yeah skrillex like and it wasn't even know? dubstep <laughs> That he won the Grammy. No, for. exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. <clears throat> and so, um, but yeah, I just think it's so funny because like we always refer to like dubstep, like that is the thing you think about when you think of like Skrillex, du like dubstep, yeah. where dubstep started. But you think of Skrillex. Meanwhile, over in the UK, they're like, nah, dude, like like this ain't dubstep. Scream, Koki, like all the like OG OGs, mm -hmm. you know. I so. think if you're into music, you realize that it's all subjective. <clears throat> there are no lines, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, especially like. It, what genre are you going to say you make? You know what I mean? Like me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Music. Stuff. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah. I think I that, make fun stuff. That's yeah. actually, I was thinking about this on the way over here. This is, I didn't write this question down or anything, but like, do you think that's becoming, and I hate to weigh this too much on like producers, but like, do you think that with the age of the internet and the growth of like content creation, stuff like that, that the idea that you have to make one kind of music or one kind of genre, is that idea fading? Like, I going anywhere. I don't. I mean, I'm lucky because I've been around for so long that I, I'm not. I hadn't really like forced myself into like a, a pocket. Box, but yeah, I think okay. for like new artists, um, it doesn't hurt to okay. kind of stick to one mm -hmm. style just because. I don't know. I, it, like you it, build a fan base off of that kind of style, but I, sure. at the same time, I don't really know because like you could just be really dope producer you can make all sorts of stuff and yeah. like, you know yes. I, I don't know i think but like you know like for example like a drum and bass artist if they continuously pump out mm, lots yeah, of drum and bass yeah. then they're gonna gather a large like you know drum, drum and bass, bass audience yeah. and I play drum and bass get better at it too yeah, like, I, yeah early on like i feel like a lot of people can't say for everyone but a lot of people's music probably not that great at the very beginning but if you're making the same thing over and over and over and over again, you get better at the, the one subgenre. Yeah. I think something that is also a problem is that a bunch of producers make music in their heads trying to make the song go viral and then it doesn't work out because of mm. the whole internet thing. They're like, oh, I want to make sure that this song is catchy enough and I have a mm -hmm. great beat. And then it just like, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Making music is like going fishing, right? Yeah. Like Rick Rubin says, you just got to go. You just got to show up and just, you might catch a big fish one day, but you just have to show up. It's just life, yeah. dude. Yeah. Life's just like going fishing, man. Just, you know? Life just is like, life's like fishing. Life's like um, music production, bro. A, <laughs> and music production is just like fishing. So. <laughs> and fishing is just like music <laughs> production. And then so music like, production is just like life. Yeah. So it's just like. <laughs> that's why I make a point to wear a fishing hat everywhere I go. Man. Oh, that's. Just, I'm ready. <laughs> At the drop of is a, that why you at the drop of a hat that's so why yes. whoa yeah, dude, never I knew that. i learned something new every wow day. yeah my secret is out man so deep so profound yeah sorry well <laughs> that's like I imagine I, doing uh, this podcast while fishing uh, it's just i feel like that'd be appropriate isn't in that a thing moment. yo this podcast is kind of a lot like fishing you know this, um, yeah this uh, podcast <laughs> you know it actually the podcast reminds me of life and it's it, a lot like fishing. life reminds me a lot of like music production too, which is which is kind of a lot like fishing or like yeah. this podcast <laughs> yeah yeah no i would agree that's crazy circle yeah. of life Dude, man. circle of fish so what so what what is the what is the secret what's the secret <laughs> it's just, just the secret yeah like i'm not gonna it? tell you do why would it? it's a that's secret fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair that was that's yeah. the right answer actually i have a i have something that i know the right answer to and i wanted to know if uh, i actually forgot if that was a real question i don't know what the context here's a, was here's like. a real question okay. i might need to pull out my uh what's the uh yeah because i 
I wrote down some of your wisdom earlier. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's wisdom that I roll. Just it, a blank re- page. I hold it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I roll it. I really hold this near and dear to my heart, and I wanted to know if you could re- kind of reproduce that wisdom for me just by asking the question. Okay. And hit, uh, hit me. I'd like to ask you, what's rule number one of making songs not suck as much as they suck normally? Rule number one to making sucks so- <laughs> songs. <laughs> to making suck songs. Song, suck, songs suck <laughs> less than they suck normally is to find the one part that sucks a little bit less than the, the rest of the song sucks <laughs> mm-hmm. and then take that part and uh, repeat, re- that part. repeat that part so that it re- it reduces the rest of the suck from <laughs> less, less percentage than less percentage of the suck than it normally would at the, at the suckage equation yeah yeah pretty I think much I, wow. I think i almost nailed that <laughs> the, quoted, yeah. the quoted wisdom uh the quoted wisdom is what's rule number one of making songs not suck as much as they suck normally mm-hmm. is find the one part that maybe kind of doesn't suck as much as the other stuff sucks, the other stuff sucks, and then repeat yeah. that part so that the amount of suck is reduced to a less percentage than it normally would if you were repeating a higher suckage percentage point bro that's basically what he said yeah so it's a test to see if his his knowledge is consistent yeah. and, his is consistent. <laughs> yeah. and that is that is a bar yeah. unfortunately are, are you an yeah, alien yeah. we need to make sure you're actually eliminate <laughs> oh, shit, come on, man not on the podcast dude come on dude people are watching man big brothers yeah. they're listening we have to they're always listening all right this ain't no 1984 is, well, it, I, is it 81 84, 81. What are you talking 19, about? I have over no there? idea what you're saying. George Orwell. I don't know. Okay, 1984. 1984. 1984. Okay, the movie with the Big Brother. Yeah, yeah. The government's watching. Got it. The government's got always watching. The government's that's the pocket. that's the MTV show, right? Where the, the... <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. they they might it, be on Disney Channel actually. It was right after Hoarders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. TLC. That's TLC. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. At so, least I think it is. I'm I don't know. So I'm sorry. Maybe, yeah. I don't. I wouldn't know. So you guys just outed yourselves yeah. watching that. Hey. Well, uh, I I wanted to kind of expand off of Grayson's uh, earlier question of um like who I guess you like who inspired you to make music but i my question is more along the lines of like who who would you say um inspires like your current sound because i i feel like quite often whenever i hear your music i always hear like this burp, 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 burp. like like this it's like this consistency i can't describe it other than like me that, acapelling bro. it but I, like i don't know what it is but i just know that like i hear it often like in your music so it's i would like i would ask like who I guess do you take that from like i feel like maybe i i don't i'm trying to decipher the burp beep boops and stuff like thinking like there's a lot same. of these kind of like, like that, that like, like, moolah, high... like when i think like moolah oh okay you know, yeah, like... yeah yeah that, I, dude, that's a good question i don't know I, I i thought you maybe were referencing like the first like big song i ever had kind of blow up was called snake bite vip and it's just like uh, this really yeah. high-pitched oh <laughs> tonight is he sound yeah. and then i was like oh well that worked so i'm gonna roll with that for the next like five years or whatever <laughs> And uh, that's what a lot of people kind of associate me with. I've kind of like I steered see. away from it yeah. from a bit now, but like, um, I just, I don't know. As far as like inspiration, I, I, I just like to make really, really weird noises through trial and error and just mash them together and see what works. Uh, I, I don't necessarily like, I don't know. This is always a tough question for yeah, me to answer. That's, that's, that's like, that's uh, fair. I could name like a bunch of artists that I really like and th- and think are dope, but like yeah. I, I don't necessarily go and listen to them and be like, okay, I want to yeah. like, you know. I mean, in a way, it's like your music inspires you, you know. And music in general just inspires <laughs> me. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I like it's not really that a, was it's, so corny. Hey, no, it's not. like he makes it and then he's like, oh hey, that worked. Let me what about make was just more like, of it. Or you're like, who's your biggest inspiration? I'm me. Just, me. Like, me. I would be like, yeah, dude, fuck yeah. Great no. power to you, bro. No. That makes sense. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> the, the level of self-love yeah. must be real high. It's No, it's just, it's just like what I'm trying to say is that like, it's it's more of just like you made this so- this sound and then you were like, oh, that works. So like, let me like tweak it a little bit to see like what I can do from that. And it's like, in a way, you're kind of inspiring yourself based off of what works. Yeah, yeah, I think just, I don't know, like, yeah, just producing. I'll just sit in front of a computer for a gajillion hours. And I think you're just, you're just, out, you're just out of your way. You're just out of your way. You just make what you, you just do what you want to do. Sometimes I just wake make. up and I'm like, holy shit, a song. I, what? <laughs> yeah, and it's just there. <laughs> How'd that get there? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I like to, if I make any, if I make music, I like to think that I'm like discovering the song because mm-hmm. a lot of producers will talk to me about they, they have something in their head and they want to make that thing, but maybe their skills don't line up or maybe they don't know how to get that sound or whatever happens. I find it's almost like a better idea to just 
throw stuff out of canvas you mm-hmm. know what i mean yeah. and just like see what sticks do you agree yeah. with that do you, do oh yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah okay. that's like the whole album is kind of like all over the place and i wasn't like going in with the idea of uh you know like oh this is how i want the the journey to go or the soundscape to go is more so just like i don't know i didn't want to throw something on the wall yeah i just threw right. 13 songs was like there you go and then, <laughs> and then it was fuck like, you yeah. that's the one that's the one right, right, now we're here dude now we're now we're now we're here now we're speaking on the pod <laughs> yeah, we made right. it we made it to yeah. life right, next let's... next thing is gonna be oh i made this on the plane uh, i hope you guys like it I wish, dude. I don't know. I can't do the plane. Um, Yo, I just made this five minutes ago in, yeah. the, in the green room. I've always Check wanted to do that, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I think just it would be it. the funniest yeah. thing to walk on stage with your laptop and be like, hold on, I'm just exporting I this, this right song. Now. Yeah, I made this as I was walking up here. Just, <laughs> just made me think of your Lost Lands intro. That, uh, that shit was so funny, dude. Welcome back to the I'm Picking ASMR version of the podcast. Uh, we're here with Eliminate. <laughs> you wanted to show us some music. Oh, dude, hold on. That was a perfect puffer fish moment. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Um, yeah, no, I can show some music. On that note, let's do it. Uh, do you guys have like a preference on what you want to hear? Or, like, um, style what? Or? No, I mean, no preference. Whatever you would like to show us, we usually listen to two two tracks, yeah. one uh, here and then one One gnarly Sunday, and so. one goofy. I feel like we should listen to Stupid Idiot just because like, oh, whatever, yeah, 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 whatever yeah, you, the, I haven't heard any I'll of them. I'll play the title track for sure. Yeah, I haven't heard any of them, so I'm excited. It's a good track. Um, like we've talked about two of the songs already and I'm like, we, oh, is, it, is it going? Oh yeah, Nan, do you want to? You can turn the volume up all the way on your phone, by the way. Yeah. Okay, it's all it's cranked. This hit play. Oh yeah, what? Give us a little context before. Oh, uh, uh, this is the title of the the title song of the album. It's called "Get Off the Internet." Okay, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's by me and Fussy. Let's go. It cuts too long. <laughs> I remember listening to this the first time and I'm like, huh, interesting. And then I couldn't stop listening to it. <laughs> the lyrics, I love them. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Yeah, this one's kind of, it's kind of more just, uh, cute, fun. It's just a vibe. Just vibey, yeah. It's like life. And fishing. can play this whole thing but this this is one of the songs on the album that's kind of structured more like a song song where it's got like song, song. two verses you know a chorus no, I love and it. like yeah. a bridge and then a the last chorus i would it's love not, to hear the whole thing it's not like okay yeah i can keep playing it i just didn't know if you wanted me to do the whole thing um also i didn't really hear what you oh, it's okay. Was. okay sorry <laughs> i'll just keep going <laughs> classify this as it's kind of like i i think it's kind of hyper poppy yeah. Oh, okay yeah. Yeah. i love these little breaks that you like added say it say it what say it it's not a break beat he likes the synth oh okay it's <laughs> not even a, it's not even what i noticed <laughs> Now what makes it 
to this last chorus different is that I'm actually singing underneath her, and I don't do that. Oh, yeah, I don't ever oh. sing, so I was like, I'm gonna hide behind oh. her. Okay. I just like put myself under her voice. I very, can kind of hear you a little bit. Very yeah. subtle, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just let this play into the next, this cool transition here. That's the other thing, it's like a mixtape. Yeah. yeah. That's Joe, Whoa. right in the next one. Yeah, this is the sixth track, so the one right after that. Whoa. This one's called heart.exe. Yeah. It's probably easier just to call it heart, but. This one's got more of a dancey vibe. I, I think we just need to listen to this now. Uh, <laughs> we just listened to the whole album. I did. Yeah. See, yeah. I wanted, I wanted a genuine reaction. I, I wanted to like hear it for myself. Nah. When, when, when uh, he sent us the the whole album to begin with, I was like, nah, I gotta listen to this right now. There's no way. I'm like, I'm listening to this right now. <laughs> I just want to say your your snares and kicks are so they're so crispy. I love Thank it. You. It's a very high compliment. <laughs> I like it's has the same um, the same melody from the the first song. Yo, that sounds like a recorder. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Cross buns, dude. Yeah. Like yeah. Cross buns. Yeah. We're putting that knowledge to work in that song, dude. Sick. <laughs> Tight. Kind of a big euphoric Ooh. melody section here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> EDC, let me see your fucking hands. Put your hands up. <laughs> <laughs> with this vibe the greed kind of just uh hey, this song this is one of the more long songs on the album so it, it's still got like two minutes left but gotcha it goes through like some transitions yeah So good. The last drop is actually like this song. This is one of the first songs I wrote for the whole album, like over a year Holy ago. Holy shit! And the last drop is the the <laughs> first. I wrote the I wrote this song like backwards. Oh, you wrote. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like Brian. Gen That's Z dope. would really like this album because it's so like. That's a lot of Gen people. Z. No, like Let's because go, they're, they're into like How that. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> <laughs> They're into that like that, that hyper pop <laughs> shit. Like that's like their their oh, stuff. Yeah. They yeah. really yeah, well, love wait it. Wait till I release the sped up version. Hyper pop. Oh, oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> wait till they make the sped yeah, up yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. Put that shit on TikTok and I'll I'll I'll, I'll what, blast it. I mean, I What's, like hyper hyper pop. Hyper pop's good. Hyper pop's dude. I like sick. hyper pop. Yeah, yeah. There's textures in there. I, though. Oh, I, yeah. I fucking love hyper pop. Yeah. Hyper pop yeah. and color base i've been like well, really yeah. into lately share a lot of similarities that yeah. song in particular has a lot of those influences yeah. for uh, sick. for that song and your album in a whole as a whole what stage do you think you'd be playing that at at edc <laughs> yeah like if you it's, it, like the 
the parking lot outside. Yeah. Nice. Really <laughs> Definitely so parking my own do, table. You can do it with the campgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. How, many, how many cars with headlights on? You know, there's a difference between just being out there <sighs> and like it's just and like a bus. none of them. It's just a bar- black. It's like just dark. pitch black. <laughs> yeah. No one's. It's actually not even anyone out there because they're all in the festival. Oh, so it's just you. Yeah. I'm just out there. I have a cooler and a fishing pole. Yeah. And um, mostly a fishing no, pole. Yeah, yeah. You actually just yeah. sit underneath the table while the music plays, and if somebody shows up, they just think it's like a road. Yeah. I, I think that would be a challenge. DJs, Flash drives yeah. on the end of the fishing pole. Is that? I didn't even bring any works? speakers for CDJ, so I'm just doing. I'm playing it off my phone. <laughs> it's like yeah. Oh, and I have a <laughs> and I have a hat for tips <laughs> for you know uh, yeah, various co- assortments of coins and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good idea. He's walking uh, like You're down busking? the free. You know the freeways like DJ just packed on the way there. He's walking down the freeway in between the cars just playing this that's, playing the song with the tip jar like, that's the next the next level of, of busking bro that's the next love, evolution oh my god is the, those, the those two songs were crazy thank you i also really like yeah. ego trip i just wanted to say that oh yeah i mean I played that yeah. one over and over I, again and, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like a kind of a, a wide assortment of different styles on the yeah. album so uh, um yeah speaking speaking of like you know walking down the street and like promoting your music in that way <laughs> yeah things that uh, i just wanted to talk Catch about me on hollywood boulevard <laughs> yeah. you know, these tapes. like it's it's interesting to see how promoting music and being able to like share your music has really changed like now we have tiktok mm-hmm. oh, you know we have, we have social media TikTok. I, it's not like going to a bar and just yeah. like hey can i like maybe play inside here Please, at, least, my shit? at least it's not under that was UMG. You, I never did the can I play here, but I do remember as a joke, like long, long time ago, like early 2010s, writing my SoundCloud link on like receipts Sick. at bars instead wow. of like, no like instead of leaving like a phone number or something, it'd just be like, yo, I'm, oh my like, God. I make music. That's yeah. the title of the video. <laughs> that's the title of the video. Eliminate used to write his SoundCloud oh, link on dog. receipts. That's the- <laughs> Okay, okay, we don't, we don't, okay, we don't have to make no, it. Can, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> At least. Used to. Highlight used yes. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, In bold. Like <laughs> over 10 years ago. Yeah. But, I mean, at least you get to keep your music on TikTok. Oh, yeah. yeah there because, some UMG. I don't yeah. really know what, what much about that. Um, yeah. They just like, for copyright, that's, that's what's happening. Yeah. They just were like, re- how about how it off. relates to you? Does any did anything get ripped? Yeah. yeah. No. I, I, <laughs> just no. I don't sucks have any, for them. Yeah, yeah. Sucks. <laughs> I don't have any uh, so UMG yeah. uh, cuts. So no, it's I didn't. Yeah. It didn't have that much effect to me. Well, so like it didn't affect me. So I naturally I just don't care. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, I, I read a bunch about it and it was like, uh, well, just a bunch of people talking about it. I didn't actually look too deep into it, but yeah. it sounds like it's pretty fucked up. Like, yeah, yeah just, they just like yeah. removed from copyright. Yeah, no, that's, that sucks. Yeah. I feel like the one positive and, and maybe you can like, you know, relate to it because you are a creator in your own right. Like, you know, you, you make a lot of like uh, comedy content on, on YouTube and whatnot and having UMG being pulled from TikTok. What do you think that's going to do for like new artists? You know, like they don't have that competition of like. I feel like the first thing is, is if I number one, I thought that they were going to with all the backlash, I assumed they would have just instantly reversed that, but it yeah. still hasn't happened. So it seems like it's kind of permanent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, But I think number one, it would, it's kind of like giving the it's giving no i didn't, I didn't <laughs> mean giving. to say it like that but like <laughs> it's giving don't sign with a major label <laughs> yeah. sweaty okay like, oh my it's, god yeah do we know yeah. why wow. wait, wait do we know why this happened it was like, based on copyright right they just I like, it was like, contract. Used, like contracts or i mean money. that's how copyright works so like people can't own it forever so it's like cool contract ends people like to ask for more but money is that that's is that the that's the reason or no idea i, I i'm gonna be honest does I didn't any, look into do it any of us know wait do you know <laughs> i, I don't don't that's why like i don't want to i don't want to like talk too much about it because i don't really know what i'm talking about but i i just like i i don't know i I, all i see is a bunch of artists really upset and that seems like a bad thing so apparently it's because it's following the uh expiration of licensing deal between two companies so yeah. Right. okay yeah. yeah so yeah that's so the, deal right. is, the contract is over yeah yeah basically it makes sense though because this isn't the first time this has happened with like tiktok and social media uh, yeah. i don't remember when it happened the last time but i do remember you know certain songs that i would put on my videos or whatever <laughs> they just all disappeared Dude, yeah it might be like tiktok of like 2021 2022 again mm-hmm. with like all like these original audios and like memes and all this stuff. At least until they maybe renew a contract. Or maybe make I don't know. I kind of, I kind of miss. I kind of miss 2021 TikTok. Yeah. It was a vibe. I, I got a feeling that the contract won't be renewed. It's more like it'll be a uh, new contract. 
like completely new contract because if it was going to be renewed it would already already have been yeah, yeah. most so likely now it's just like a, a way of smaller artists getting their things out there oh, yeah. whatever the case may be in terms of like getting uh discovered as a smaller artist something that i think a lot of people smaller artists would want to talk to you specifically about something i hear a lot about is people it's not like a complaint but it's like a, a pushback to having to make content as well as make their music mm -hmm. right is it the same thing these days? Do you have any take on that in terms of like what somebody else should be doing? Do you have any way of balancing that content versus I, artists? I um I think I can't really uh give much of a okay, let me change let's start here. I would say <laughs> Like you can't just not make any promotional content, yeah, because it's just it's not how the industry works. And you yeah. can sit, you know, you can hate it. It's okay to be like, oh, I hate this, but like, still, like, find a way to make it fun. I don't yeah. know. Like, I, I don't, I don't loathe doing it. I do YouTube because I enjoy doing it, and then that kind of translates over to just a lot of the TikToks I post are just going to be a condensed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like YouTube video, there are but. some artists out there who are against, you know, social media in a way, but you have to adapt to like how culture is now. You have to make content in order to get your music out in I, a way. I think yeah. if you're a, pro I can, I can't, I can like give my advice on like, if you're a producer and you want to get people to hear your beats or your, your song you made or whatever, like what I've found a bunch of success in is just showing how you made it. Yeah. You don't even yeah. have to talk. You don't even have to say a word. Just like film, you know, your project yeah. and then chop it up in the mm -hmm. attention, like keeping <laughs> yeah. fashion yeah. where it's like, boom, 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 boom. It's like all this crap. And then by the end, there's a song. People love that shit. They're like, oh, whoa, damn, that's crazy. And then, oh, there's a song. And then like, I don't know. I, the snare roll. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah. also with this. People generation. love yeah. people love the puzzle pieces. To yeah. Think. yeah. They also yeah. want to like get to know someone. Yeah. It's about like actually getting to know the person yeah. instead of like this whole like, oh, you're a star or whatever. Like yeah. you are untouchable. But like people actually want to get to know the person. Yeah. Or you could recreate Soldier Boy in record breaking time. You know, you know the speed uh, running. Yeah. 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 Or you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's anyone could do. Yeah. That's okay. Not, not I just, anyone. I just watched. I just watched you do it. That's so funny. <laughs> the soldier boy meta got so crazy that i had to take my i had to I had to step out i've uh, kind of retired because i was uh i was the record holder for a little bit there and um <laughs> did someone beat you yeah so like i got the original idea from this other guy on youtube his name is simon servita and he did a whole huge yeah. video on the soldier boy speed run and i was like i want to do that so then i did my own version and i beat his record and then Damn. he came back and beat mine oh. like a year later and he just oh, he wow. just annihilated it. Oh, so that you're just like, I'm, I'm out. No, no, this gets crazier, man. Oh, it this keeps going. So I'm 31. I don't know how old Simon is. He's probably like, you know, maybe late 20s or something. Sorry if you're not. Uh, I don't know. I, he could be. <laughs> he's like so insulted 14. right now. He's like, yeah, he's like 21. And he's like, do, I don't know. I feel like when you're 25, like a 30, yeah. you, you yeah. don't really age. But like, so he, I don't know. Regardless, I don't think he's like a 17 year old kid. So yeah, we're 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 old heads, and um, we're going back and forth on this Soldier Boy thing. And then once it reached like, there's like these two producers on TikTok who are like really young. They're like young kids, yeah. and they just are going back and forth, and they do tons of beats. And once they got a hold of the Soldier Boy, I was oh, like, no. I knew it was over. I was like, it's game over, dude. Like the TikTok kids found it, they and they, they're home. so fast at producing. Dude, it's dude. because their mind is like going a hundred miles per hour all the time. I don't know. And I just like there's this one guy, and he's I've seen his speed runs before, and it's like insane. I was like, I hope he doesn't ever do the Soldier Boy speed run because did the, he, do it? he did it, and he just <laughs> they the, and then him and I don't know. There's this other guy. I, also, I can't remember his name. Um, he's on TikTok though. He's he's really fast at producing, and they got the Soldier Boy record down to like. 14 seconds or something wow and we were like fighting so hard for like 20 seconds 21 seconds 22 seconds wow. and, and this kid they, does 14 they just a cut sweat. it down yeah so i was like i got it i'm out dude you i'm <laughs> i'm hanging up the uh that's like, this crazy is like a as a distance, goal that's going to keep receding it's going to keep getting further away yeah. if you want to spend your whole life doing it but <laughs> that's, that's, nah. that's your glory you know I, I don't know much about speed runs like is that like a whole thing like it's not really it's, it's very thing. niche it's, it's very thing. niche i love speed running as a concept like i love speed like i don't really speed run that many video games or anything i've done like mm -hmm. a few but like i like watching speed runs it's yeah. like it's just i don't know the whole thing fascinates me i think yeah. it's really cool and then doing it in a music setting is like a whole other level. Of, yeah. Yeah. Just, it sounds interesting. I feel like I, I'm, I I'm definitely going to Google it when I get home. You can, yeah, it's, I, I love it. And then there's a lot of people that hate it. They're like, 
Because it know, shows them. I don't know why. There's like a lot I, of this. I like, mean, it's probably because like they're making these you know, Soldier Boy records or whatever in 14 seconds, I right? That, I don't know. There's like a lot of people that just they hate seconds. music speedrunning. They think it's really stupid, and they and, and it's like don't just don't look too deep into it. They're taking like, it seriously. I it's think just, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's just for fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's like speedrunning a video game. Yeah. It's like you're not you're, like I'm, I imagine whoever is speedrunning it like they've already played the game. Yeah, so it's they like, memorized it. Yeah, yeah. So the people who like I feel like a lot of the people who would get upset are just like you're not playing the game. We're like, this so is not yeah, the purpose yeah, of the game. It's like I already, I already did that. It, yeah, yeah, I already I did, did that already. Seven hundred like, times. Yeah, it's like I really enjoy this game. I just want to beat it faster. That's yeah. it. It's like, for the fun of it. Like, yeah. why? Why do you have to look? Why do you have to like take so music, much meaning out of it? Wow, yeah. music's supposed to be fun, right? It's it's yeah. it's kind of blowing my mind now that I'm thinking about fourteen seconds, twenty one seconds. Like, no, no, I, that's that's bonkers. It's yeah, crazy, that's, that's actually nuts because I've, I've yeah, definitely seen like a speed run of like a tutorial. Like someone was like, "Cool, here's how you make a song." The tutorials are longer than the yeah, no, no, exactly. <laughs> and they're like, "Here's a speed run of how to make a said song in like ten minutes." And it's ten minutes, and you're saying to me fourteen seconds. I'm like, Jesus that's Christ, that's not yeah. possible. No, it's <laughs> it apparently it, it is. It is. <laughs> I know yeah. it's weird. It's I uh, I I would do the like when I was doing the practicing the trying to get you know the the world record runs and all this shit i would yeah. just do it on a uh, twitch stream <clears throat> mm -hmm. so i was like doing it in front of people which actually kind of helped because i wasn't just sitting alone doing it and it was like but there's people... so much pressure no there's like, a lot of pressure you. but like i think the longest stream i ever did soldier boy runs was like six hours or something <laughs> and i wow. was like dude and then it's just repeating the you learn all these different hockeys and inputs yeah, yeah. and then the order of everything <laughs> yeah, and you like optimize the, the optimize like the, yeah. the route it goes and then it's actually crazy when you realize just how quickly you got to do all these things and i swear i got it down the fastest time i ever got was 17 and a half seconds and i never even it's probably my biggest flex ever that actually should be. Yeah, it should be. No, this is my biggest flex ever is that i got 17 and a half seconds i got it on a twitch stream so people saw it it was live and then I was like, I can do better. And I never posted it because I wanted to get like under 17. So I never posted the the run. Yeah. And then um, I, I was like, oh, fuck, I got to finish this dumb album. So I was like <laughs> working Stupid on that. Album. Stupid I album. Oh my God. Career. God. Cringe music album career <laughs> shit. And then I was like, got really, it was like kind of near the ending stages of that. And then I just forgot about it. And then two weeks go by, you're fucked. You're not going to like, yeah, you have to relearn everything it. again. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. And then, um, back out to it was shortly seconds. after that, I started seeing the videos on TikTok of these other two kids that were you're just, like, fuck, I'm done. Then yeah. that's it. I was it's like, just, it's over, man. The it's moment was there, the moment's gone. But yeah. even in that 17 and a half seconds, I was like, I can't do it. That's insane. Like that's, you are that's, sweating. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sweating, dude. You just, you're, you're clammy you, mouth. You walk in, you <laughs> dial in and you, and you sweat and then you make the beat. And then even in that, I was like, I, that's, I don't think it can go much faster. And the fact that, that it's down to like 14, maybe even less than that now is just like these damn kids. Well, you know that, you know, they did that all day, right? You know, they just you sat have, there. You have yeah. to, I yeah. mean, dude, I did, so did I. Took like six <laughs> hours of, just over and over I again. have, dude, I didn't log them, but I'm sure I have in just a, a disgusting amount of if hours in the soldier boy speed run 30 seconds on average to make and you're doing it for six hours so you're not doing it consistently obviously you know, okay you know, like, so you took like a <laughs> break. Was just no breaks <laughs> 30 seconds it's straight back into the new, new one project like, while each time. <laughs> dude yeah no no you're, this is uh this is your face when you're producing yeah just base face the whole time no if it makes you feel better those it's not like those kids are working on you know a stupid album for their career or anything like that i mean they so. could be i don't know i don't, I don't, I don't know, know. Much, like, i don't know much about them i'm just gonna assume that they're not so that you know we, we can feel better about, do you think, about this do you think good. it's easier to be a musician then if like all these like kids are that's why people that's why people I'm dislike not, the speed running thing. i'm not yeah. trying to i'm not trying to be like old man yells at cloud yeah. right now yeah. either. like i think that it's dope that these these guys are doing the speed yeah. run i encourage it i think it's like cool as hell and especially when so many people look at the salted boy speed run and think it's like stupid and it's like but when you find people that actually like see the fun in it and that yeah. it's really dope it's like great keep doing it i actually look at them i'm like it's time to pass the you're torch. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. a it's like yeah. an athlete thing, right? Like yeah, you're, 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 a legend, you're a legend in the Soldier Boy speedrunning community. And but it's I'm, time to, yeah. it's time I'm to move wobbling on. off with my cane into the <laughs> yeah. sunset. No, and I'm like, like, yeah, well, I, kids. I just feel like it's getting easier because I saw like this 
five-year-old, seven-year-old kid who's like producing music. Get a Splice subscription. No, the, I don't know his name. You, 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 know, said, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, he's, oh, that's oh, a, I know like a prodigy. Yeah. But yeah. like, it's, it's he nuts. Like, he like remade the David Guetta songs and everything, or is yeah. that the one? I, 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 I think so. Yeah. I, I, but... I don't. I just saw some Instagram videos of him, but yeah, that kid is a prodigy. It's He's gonna getting, have like a crazy. It's getting more accessible because of like yeah. technology just getting. Well, crazy. there's some that that kind of like what I what I said earlier with like the the way that you're able to put personality in your music. There's like especially if you start early, you kind of get accustomed to the whole EDM stuff. And there are certain producers that are really able to like take that. They might have started early or something like that. One of which being Skrillex, right? The guy's yeah. insane. We talked about him a little bit yeah. earlier. Yeah. Speaking of which, fucking, yeah. you wanted dude. to talk something about the Grammys, right? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, we finished your thought, but well, yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, there, there are certain, there are certain artists that I think really stand out above other people, and that may be a result of starting really early or just sure. like getting yeah. into the actual craft of producing to an extreme level, doing something like Soldier Boy speed runs or whatever. It's like a, it's another level of commitment. Yeah. So what I mean is like you know. Uh, how do you how do you think Skrillex in in that point like? Isn't this a second Grammy? I think so. I, I yeah. have no idea, honestly. Yeah, did he, his did first one was one? for Cinema, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, that's crazy. Was cinema? Did he win something for Cinema? Yeah, I think he yeah. did. Back okay. in the day, the, the, I don't watch the Grammys the, at all. I'm sorry. His speech for the Cinema Grammy is actually something <gasps> I that saw I saw it. Well, no, this is the one he got like ten years ago or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, but yeah, the, he says that he he like made the song on like a broken speaker or something. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I always think about that when I'm like just man fucking did it on a broken speaker yeah a like you just you don't you know you don't necessarily like if you know what you're doing you can make music on like uh at airpods and stuff yeah, yeah. 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 Well, thing, airpods are actually really good but one thing i'm scared <laughs> of though is like i've also heard that the grammys is kind of scripted well well yeah so i mean i think i've read about it i think like you have to kind of pay you have to kind of pay probably yeah. a lot of pay man probably i think i've read i've read about it in class you have to like Kind of Do you think the Super Bowl whoever. is scripted too? Hold on. Have you heard about the conspiracy theory? You're saying that? if I uh, if I just like you know just, just, just a little under the, the table. Oh, we we know know a Grammy. 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 Well, Grammy action. I know a guy. <laughs> yeah. oh, who's your Grammy guy? He's a guy. Okay. Uh, I'll let you know. But the, but the Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh, Super Bowl is scripted too, right? Tiesto, <laughs> fucking Tiesto is gonna be playing at the Super Bowl. Oh, really? Time? Wait, yes. really? Oh, that part of it is scripted. I thought you meant like who's who's playing and when they Wait, where they throw sick. and stuff. Yeah. Sorry. Oh Wait, no, he is. He's I mean, that, that could be that, that could very much be too. That's, yeah. that's what's happening. He's yeah. like the first <laughs> DJ to do it. Okay. Wait, he's, we made he's, it. He's DJing at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Or he's the halftime. Like he's the half. He's not. No, because Usher's doing the halftime. Okay, I was gonna say like, DJ yeah. to the halftime no, 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 is no, no, not no, gonna. No. Yeah, he's up on the phone though? on the desk. <laughs> like, yo, check me out. Chip jar. <laughs> check me out, bro. Oh, bro, that'd be such. Just a move. kidding. Uh, Forty-two minutes ago, Tiesto ooh. drops out of the Super Bowl. Uh, 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 wow! Wow! Classic, dude. That's what I was talking about at the beginning. The guy's hilarious. Dude. Oh my god! This is a power move. Yeah. Yeah. He's for the like, fuck I, of it. I don't want to. Like, you know what? I don't, I don't, do I don't need this. <laughs> I'm dude, too refined for the Super Bowl. That fucking legendary. Dude, Are you honestly, kidding? The, it would have been legendary, but I honestly imagined him just walking up, laptop, presses play, walks away. That's it. No, That's no, it. no, no, man, no dude. Hold on. If there's this, an opening for a DJ yeah, at the Super Bowl, then I have some calls to make. Okay. Isn't I, it this Sunday? I mean, Sunday? it dropped 42 minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, damn. You're like, yo, Tiesto dropped out. Get me in, dog. Me in, <laughs> yo, hook me up. Yeah. But um, back to the Grammys being being scripted. What 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 would what would make you think that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I know that, know I know that there are like stunts that happen in, in the Grammys. Yeah, so, like, like PR stunts. Like, yeah, like the like, like the, the, the Kanye, Kanye thing Taylor from Swift. Taylor Swift. Do you guys think that was scripted? Like, I. I have no idea. Or do you think Kanye's just crazy because I mean uh, I don't pay enough attention to be honest <laughs> to stuff like that, but I, I do know that like that was media was pushing that at all times of the day. Well yeah, yeah. I mean you know they ju they jump at the they they jump at the first side of blood. I don't so. know. I mean what he did was kind of messed up, but at the same time, like you'd be a really good actor if that was a scripted thing. Cause that was kinda like uh. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why you'd have like like the the awards for music the only thing you're allowed to award music for is like the number of streams or the number of sales it gets yeah. you know and that's just yeah. it's like a I don't know. I think of music. I don't want to sound like. But is an there a voting? Person. Is there a voting system when it comes? Is there a voting system when it comes to the Grammys? Like who? Who's the one that the like academy, nominates? Right? Whoever that is. Yeah. Exactly. So the does the academy? Behind closed doors, academy people. So is it like who pays the most? 
if it's just the academy because if it's not like the general public yeah i could see it being something that's more just for like publicity sake and you know whoever pays how do you the get, most how do you get like, nominated i'm just saying because if you think about it like you know whoever gets the awards like they're getting a t- fuck ton of publicity which is you know mm. obviously helping their platforms and everything so you know, it does make sense kind of like kind of like uh these are just conspiracy theories kinda, okay yeah, do the, not we're fucking quote me on this we're, shit we're speculating <laughs> so you know how in uh in fishing right they have like a uh <laughs> in life <laughs> You're not, so you know how in fishing yeah. or, or in life, right? Like you have to put the fake uh, lure to get fish to bite on. The yeah. Yeah. So you it's need a similar. Bait. It's similar in uh, like with the Grammys or with social media and stuff. They have to put out that like shiny lure for people to grab onto. And the yeah. lure is the song. Yeah. And yeah. that's like sort and of like the, life. Uh, so it relates a lot to uh, podcasting too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kind of comes full circle. Um, circle of life. Yeah. The circle of life. Which okay. Is kind of like as soon pod. as you said that, I was like, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I haven't said shit because I'm like I don't, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, but now I get it. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to relay it to you and your and your kind of thought. Oh, right? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'm just like oh, I need it. Like I need it explained in fishing terms. Yeah. Dude, and like, so. yeah I, think, I think to answer your question, it's just like it's the it's it's show. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's a show. Like because I'm like always wondering like who the fuck. Uh, who the, says who the fuck like who the fuck says who I gets nominated for that song, so I exactly yeah, I feel that. To, to be honest when it comes to like academy awards and grammys all those things at the end of the day it is a publicized show i'm just yeah. saying that's what because I'm saying. the, but fact, no, that's what the I mean. fact that like beyonce won you know edm well, album I mean, of the year last, so mad about that's that. what i'm trying to get at <laughs> i've thought about this a lot too and I, this is what i'm trying to get at is like nobody actually cares like yeah. nobody actually cares about these awards to an extent like yeah the people who are in it is because they want that award and it yeah. has that that publicity but it's like it's like think about the nobel prize which is peace peace prize or whatever i got nothing to do with that i know nothing about it at the end of the day it's a, it's it's all a show yeah you just get yeah. relayed the information at the end of the day yeah. you know it's just like oh hey by the way guess what so and so yeah won. so it's yeah. not necessarily or like so and so because i know you're saying oh a conspiracy theory it's all you know scripted out yeah but at the same time like is it a conspiracy if it actually is crypto? It's just like, no, back, it's just a performance. Did back you, in the day, though, like people, the music tastes and what people listen to were really decided by like, you know, record labels yeah. and what they, what you could get your, your hands on. Mm-hmm. Like with the concept of celestial jukebox nowadays, which is the idea that you can open up Spotify, open up Apple Music, listen to any music from any era. Now it's at this point where like people kind of just develop their own tastes. And also like, music is more special to you when you just find it yourself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so something like the Grammy was, was probably just like left over from a time where like music and discovery and who you were listening to, all that was so much more centralized but than it is did, now. Did you guys, did you guys see of like when Taylor Swift had her announcement of like her new album and all of the, <laughs> all of the artists around they're like, Oh shit. So like bringing it back to like, you know, being a DJ in the EDM world, do you schedule your album in like a good time or cause like I just feel like sometimes like artists they push out their albums all at the same time so it's hard to get like your spotlight honestly I have no idea I, I, was, <laughs> I was supposed to know. the original uh, release date was supposed to be uh, uh, like I think the first one we landed on was like October mm-hmm. and, I was, oh, damn. and then it pushed it back to um, November and then it was like it considering doing December, but I was like, no, no, I don't want to do December because it's like holidays. Yeah, Christmas. No one's gonna give a shit. And yeah. then it turned into uh, early February, and then I am so glad that we did that because I wasn't gonna have it done by October. Well, that's the reason that we pushed it back was because like yeah. I see. Yeah, but yeah because, like it was. Sorry, I, didn't, yeah. I was originally the timeline wasn't dead set on anything, so I didn't really have any like specific thing in mind other yeah. than I just needed to get it done, and then. <laughs> We're supposed to do like the album in October and then the tour was going to start like now and then yeah. instead it's album now and tour doesn't yeah, start I, like I don't April. know. I think just like as ravers, we're so like spoiled because a lot of our artists just like come out with albums all at the same time and tours at the same time. So at the same time, yes, it's fun, but we're broke. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like how that's what you wrapped it up with. <laughs> I'm still gonna go. That's you know what I take that into consideration, and I think other DJs should too. <laughs> when it's man really, of the people. Yeah, like I purposely did now because it's, it's uh, people cr- make more money now. Yes, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas season. Yep. Yeah. No one's buying gifts and shit. Yeah. They, they have time. He's just to, being considerate. Yeah. He's just being considerate. Straight. That's what I told uh, my manager when I was like, I want to do an album, and I don't want to. I want to release it when it's when it's good. People yeah. make more money. And not 
in January when like everyone is financially like recovering from Christmas. No, we're no. gonna do it in or February. February. So we're gonna you, give them a month. Did you like throw out like a, a poll, like a census sort <laughs> no, of? No, man. Situation? I just knew. Yeah. I'm just some, you know. I just I, psychic. Yeah. Psychic. I uh, sort, of, sort of in touch. With he's the just people. thoughtful. He's just he's just thoughtful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll hit us with the classic. Breath. I'll do the I'll do the one too. <laughs> yeah, let's go. How did I get here? Where am I? Who am I? Oh. Um, so, oh, well, surprise! Oh, uh, surprise! So we we heard that. Um, actually, no, we heard, not. We heard. We, uh, heard. we saw. We know that you were uh, on a research. list of the top twenty. Uh, no, 20. 20. 20? Top twenty funniest DJs. <laughs> Wait, and really? did you know that yeah. you are number six? You're number six, bro. You're who's, like top ten. Whose list? This is uh, on, what is it? Uh, magnetic, is it? Mag. magnetic Mag. Magnetic Mag. Oh, Mag. Whose list? okay. Yeah. Cool. I, yeah, I was... I, oh, you're I, funny. I'm so <laughs> funny, dude. I'm number six. Is <laughs> yeah, like, yes. yeah, but that does mean that there are five people funnier than you. Yeah, no, sorry. it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Five. Yeah, we don't have to better, better luck next year. We don't have to We don't have to talk about that part. Honestly, I'm pretty pretty sure there's a conspiracy theory here oh. it's rigged yo straight what up do you mean? yeah <laughs> yeah who decided this yeah, yeah. You, did you pay <laughs> come on guys not, <laughs> let's not talk about that part on the podcast. Hey, i'm man. on the list dude that's so that's sick. cool i i didn't know that was a thing so how's it feel you're what? like top top is this like a new list or is this list been you, around? It, I've it, never seen it. I don't I don't know. Do you want to make an acceptance now. speech? <laughs> they unveiled it at the Grammy. You <laughs> want to make your, your acceptance speech? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Should I do like a... Uh, uh, just pretend that there's music here. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to thank like the Academy. And the award to six place <laughs> for funniest Dude, you DJ. You don't have to six say funniest six in the thing. Six <laughs> funniest <laughs> DJ. You just say uh, like you know on he's the on the list. list. Second the list. funniest uh, DJ is out good. there. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Not the Eliminate. first, second, third, fourth, or fifth, but no. the six. Yeah. Just outside the top five. Congratulations. Uh, top top six. Top, yeah. Just top six. outside. Uh, there's too many people to thank. <laughs> uh, I too couldn't even bother. Uh, beginning to start to think about beginning about uh, even <laughs> wanting end. to think about doing that Fish. and this is like so fucked up because it's like oh you got to give a speech for being super funny dj and it's like okay the speech better be funny you fucking don't you better fucking make us laugh and if you don't then we're gonna not it would take you down on the list and like <laughs> That sucks that when you think about it. Fuck you that's, right on that the that spot. That sucks. That's actually, <laughs> I actually exactly. think that's kind of fucked up that if you don't give a funny speech at the funniest DJ award show that they're going to, it's just too much pressure. And I think it's away. a pretty big issue that we're facing. <laughs> it's something, it something that uh, reached my mind as soon as I learned about this award five yeah, seconds ago. And no one's stepped up and said anything about it yet. So I'm going to take this opportunity to do that and raise awareness during this speech. That, uh, well, it's really like, don't you think that being voted one of the, uh, one of the funniest DJs DJs is going to make you start like looking at your humor with a little bit more uh, oh my critical gosh, eye a lot and of pressure it's going to make you not funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are not helping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, do you feel all the pressure from that Dude, now? Like, my, how are you going to deal with all that? My speech would just be, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and just grab the award and leave. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, I'm sorry. You should be high <laughs> on the list. Dude. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Guess, guess who's ranked right underneath you? Um, oh, wait, oh, underneath oh, as oh, in yeah. seventh? Guess, guess who's seven? Guess who's seven? Tiesto. No, he's funnier than me. He's funnier than me for sure. No. You're ranked higher than Diesel. Diesel? Than Shaq. Shaq's You're number funnier seven. than Shaq. Damn, dude. Funnier than Shaq. Take that, Shaq. Okay, Dick. look, look, look. <laughs> You're number six. Okay. Eliminate. <clears throat> they have a full paragraph and everything. Oh, wow. You want me to read it to you? I yeah, wait, read it. Uh, okay. I want to hear Yo, it. Yo, just glaze me up right now. Let's <laughs> got go. you. Got <laughs> you. <laughs> it, too. it says, first, it is essential to note that Eliminate is an insanely gifted and innovative DJ producer hybrid. Wow. Heard that. Heard that. He is so innovative that he makes complete YouTube breakdowns of tr making tracks using the most ridiculous samples, objects, and sounds he can find. Facts. Surprisingly, he can make good music. A I solid do do amount. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly, actually surprisingly, good. Yeah. Surprisingly, he can make good music a solid amount of time by manipulating these noises. Among his highlights are turning my cat's meow into dubstep, making a song out of every Michael Jackson grunt, and the hysterical video below. <laughs> I'm not gonna play this. You, but it's called "Is Mayonnaise an Instrument?" Oh, is Mayonnaise an instrument? Oh no! 
<laughs> um, yeah. Is so it, like, so because it? you made mayonnaise an instrument, you ranked number six. Congratulations. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> like, I have always wanted to leave, like, you know, a really... A, just a mark a mark leave my mark industry. on it yeah and that's why you know making music out of mayonnaise like what do you think this is, means for the future I yeah mean, so actually, much actually yeah. i'm so glad you asked that because like it's it's a, it's a it's a big shift for sure yeah. um and and i'm <laughs> just happy to have been able to do my part what condiment next ketchup uh, I think we're going to end up experimenting, you know, maybe yeah. like taking a few different things and mixing them all together. Mm. Gotcha, um, like gotcha, a cocktail gotcha. of yeah. just condiments. Yeah. I like yeah. hollandaise sauce. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Or Worcestershire. Yeah. That's good. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worcestershire. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the one. That's the one. <laughs> Love Worcestershire. that. Love Worcestershire. that. Love that. Love that. Have, have you made a song yet with the, oh, the, <laughs> the bars? I feel like you could just pick anything from my discography and be like, yeah, that sounds like the, the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I've used that exact same thing yet, though. I've used it in um, DJ sets. Like at my Lost Land mm. set, I took all the laser chants from Laser Beam, and I think I replaced one of them with the buffer fit. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. It's, <laughs> it's better this way. Yeah, yeah honestly, better. yeah, I did that because I think Ray was also playing the festival, and it was like he 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 deserves the laser chant. It's his song, so <laughs> I just put like you know memes. Oh. Yeah, what's yeah, the, it's just being thoughtful again. What, yeah. What's like the weirdest? sound that you made a song with um uh, probably like dude oh my god it's so this fucked up how many things they've done sample flips of <laughs> um i didn't make a song out of this but like three years ago now um maybe even longer oh early youtube days for me i did a challenge to make like i was like i tweeted out i was like if you were gonna hear the worst song ever made what would be in it and then I was going to take all of the uh, replies and find the sounds for them and then make just an awful song yeah. out of all of them. <laughs> and one of the things was turtles having sex. Oh, that, oh, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh, the I, I, had, I Googled yeah. that. And I was you, in... I, yeah. You, well, I what, had to find it. I was what, in, what made you Google... Incognito mode. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's, what that's key. What made you Google... I want to know. I wonder what turtles sound like having. No, the, it was it was the, trending the, the, for a while. Oh. Yeah, no, that was actually no, a trending also, thing. I didn't think of this. This was a tweet. Someone to replied to yeah, it and was okay. like, "Oh, put turtles having sex in uh -huh. it." Dude, trust me. Okay, I, I sure. Will. De Devin, Devin can actually like vouch for this, but I had learned that the dragon noises or the dragon roars from Game of Thrones is just a like, it's the sound of turtles having sex pitched in a different way. Is it really? Yeah. Cannot confirm. I just remember reading this a long time ago. Yeah, Nate knew that already. Whoa, yeah. that's he hilarious. Knew that. yeah. All things turtle sex. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's why. That's already, that's why. Yeah. Mm, done my yeah. research. I mean, if you think about it, how do we know what dragons sound like? We just found something we thought sounded like dragons, and it's the orgasm of turtles. Dragons are real. But we haven't heard them yet. Have you so, heard a dragon? Yeah. They're real. Yeah, on Game of Thrones. <laughs> on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> which is a real, which is a real non-fictional show. Yeah, by the way. sorry, you guys are yeah. just making me think of that that one video of the turtles going. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're going, he's going There's like two this. turtles. It's like giving a light at each show, other, a and light one of them just goes. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think I am either. Uh, they're, they're just like, crazy, bro. They're just crazy. <laughs> it was a turtle going in front of another turtle, and its fingers are going like this. I, no, I, I got that part, Mickey. I, I know, but it's so funny. <laughs> well, it, like turtles raving or something? Or getting into it? Turtle that's, rave. that's how I imagined it. It looked like one was giving the other a light show. Yeah. Cute. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just, speaking of fire, sorry, it just made me think of Elenium. <laughs> Elenium and burning his uh, LED screen. Oh my this god! Last Wait, what, ha what happened? He burned his LED screen with the pyros. Yeah, no. he it left got one too of them hot. on for too long. Well, yeah, fire. It's hot. No, yeah, but, but he the, burned the, the, the LED really? screen. Why was he shooting it at the LED screen? Was it? Who fucking knows? He was, it was pointed straight up, but he left it on for too long that the heat from just oh. like the uh, surrounding area burned the screen. The power it. got to him, did it? Yeah, yeah. it's just. <laughs> well, the power like, got to his pyro guy. Oh yeah, he was sure. like, it wasn't him. he got too excited. Yeah. Okay, so wait, the whole screen burned down. Can somebody no, tell no, me what like happened? Just like a part of it. Yeah. A part of it got burnt. Oh okay. It's yeah. like if you took like a handful of water and just threw it. Are in you sure it wasn't part of the show? Or oh no, we saw it burn. I saw it burn. Yeah, yeah but that could be. Part Did that of happen all night? Yeah. <laughs> that could be part yeah, of the night. Oh, that's funny. Mm. 
I think they should have just gone with a, like you know more of like a humble way of introducing that like uh, you know his intro at Lost Lands, you know where he gave like a TED talk. Dude, what are oh, you talking you about? No, I, that was the most high production, high budget, <laughs> craziest <laughs> DJ intro I think ever. Like honestly, I should probably You're take it. Right. I should take a, right. a, a page from Millennium's book and tone my shit down a little bit because like <laughs> and, and burn one of your LED screens. Yeah, yeah. and just yeah. like you know, it's like yeah, it was a little over the top what I did for sure. What if you like worked that into it? Like you were like at like the pyro went off during it and then but as part of your plan <laughs> well, yeah, you're like, you're like, like oh and shit just, yeah and, no shit. but then in your in the like intro it's like oh i guess we burned one of the led screens no so. i think for your next intro you <laughs> should bad. do your acceptance speech for funniest DJs. oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's gonna t- put me down the list if i do that for sure <laughs> i you think it's gonna raise you up you honestly next year, yeah no. um <laughs> You all take it into consideration. (laughs) It's like every time you make a joke, you explain the joke, it becomes immediately unfunny. Yeah, I got to do that from now on. No, he's got to just play into it. Like, yeah, so um, I heard I got nominated uh, number six on Magnetic Mag's Funniest DJ. So I'm kind of a big deal now. Um, So I need you all to like... You're above Diesel, so it's a big deal. Sorry, dude. (laughs) Sorry, internationally (laughs) renowned, well-known, famous basketball player slash celebrity slash just... You know, generally recognizable face. You invite I'm him, funnier than you. You invite him to the set, and he's just standing there off to the side, and you're saying this to him. You, so, is there was there a reason you made worse. that that uh, intro for Lost Land specifically? Just, I straight up, it was just supposed to be like a funny joke, full funny meme, little yeah. funny haha. Because like, this I was is why like, you got number six. I was like, uh, I was like thinking like, oh, how do I make like you know everyone, everyone, every fucking DJ at Lost Lands always makes like these yep. crazy. Oh, intros. like Solomon yeah. King. Solomon there's, King does his crazy ass intros. There's, there's tons <laughs> of everyone. Tons yeah, of people. Like, everyone yeah. does. They do big crazy intros, and I was like, damn, I want, I, I want, want one. I want to do one too. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Fuck. Maybe do the opposite. So oh, no, yeah. I gave like a speed like a movie i did like i sort of turned it into like a movie trailer and then i initially wasn't gonna do like the 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 cringe silence speech thing i was like gonna actually go into like some cool i don't know cinematic shit but then i i listened to it building up into silence and i was like (laughs) that goes hard that's That's kind of funny (laughs) and i just like grabbed my microphone and recorded like i didn't even write anything down i was just like hey guys what's up hey (laughs) it's me how's it going (laughs) I love that though. That's that's just that's you. That's like yeah. that's your that's your humor. That's that's the yeah. funny shit right I there. I put that clip up expecting it to reach like my target audience of Did like it? people that know me and they're gonna know it's a joke and it's funny and it like reached the outer realms of even like dance music. It got like a gajillion views. So like, yeah. All the people that think DJing is stupid and shit, they were just like, they oh, see this. Like, yeah, and they're like, they're just it like, reaffirms that. Dude, yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, I was like, oh no. Uh, uh, this is what I've been saying. Not, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's not even doing it. This is the, the, the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And I was like, damn it, dude. You don't. You don't yeah. get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Yeah, good on just, you. Push them forward the stereotype. Dude. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Just like sure the, to do my part. Keeping the lames the out. The whole like, really like excision, <laughs> the excision Shrek visual that like what? went fucking. Oh yeah, I saw you that. You didn't see that. I saw that. Dude, I'm excisions, sorry. excisions like <laughs> Shrek visual that went that happened is it like shrek is love inspired no <laughs> well a, l- a little bit okay. it's like yeah and then it, it, it breaks into boom 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 and then bah! he becomes oh my god I love your oh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah it goes right into the it, fucking like, country rhythm like, yeah it, it, oh, it's classic. like a scary type oh my god let me type see. i do have it but like shrek's on the screen and oh yeah yeah i saw oh, that that's play, into the, play into the mic that's it oh wait, actually don't play in the mic because copyright oh yeah you play it anywhere blah, blah, except blah, the blah, mic blah, mute it blah, mute it yeah, we don't want to get sued or whatever. Yeah, so is. basically it was like scary. But now it got like, it got so viral to the point where people from like mainstream are like copying the dance of Shrek. That's funny. Oh That's really God. funny. Yeah. And like, and now people are like, if this is what goes on in raves, I don't want to go. It's, but then, then it's you so clearly, scary. Yeah, so you wouldn't want to be there. Good. We you don't want you to be a Shrek You're scared dance, of Shrek? <laughs> Well, it's mostly just like, come yeah, on, I know. Like, it's a Shrek And then dance. Shrek was like vomiting in the floor. Okay, that's, yeah. that's a little... That's, that's vomiting a little, lava. one step too far yeah. to, be, to want to participate with. Yeah. How could the, you the hate Shrek? Well, can, we, it, can we just talk about that for a second? Is the fact that Shrek is uh, such a classic. Like, yeah. uh, What is it about Shrek that everyone just Shrek loves? The, love. sound, the soundtrack. Shrek is love the, and Shrek the, is love. Yeah, that's what It's like Shrek is just fishing. Of it's never going back. Stop. Have you ever seen the Shrek is love, Shrek is life? video no don't we don't need to we don't need to, we don't need to. Mm-hmm. 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 i don't think you've seen it don't look not. it up yeah okay that's why it's i know I, I, yeah i, I yeah, may I, I might have heard what you're look talking it up about. off camera uh-huh. nand <laughs> it's pretty someone at lost lands i don't remember doing this because it was probably like late and maybe i, I was like 
it's perhaps like a few beverages deep or something but um <laughs> it's like months after lost lands ended and there was a tweet or something i'm trying to remember the context of how this hap went down but like there was a tweet that was like uh something about artists collabing and then someone quote tweeted that and tagged me in it and was like i went up to eliminate at lost lands and asked him who his favorite or who if he could collab with anyone who it would be and we couldn't hear each other because it was so loud <laughs> And yeah. I don't even remember doing this, but he was a screenshot of the notes app, and I just put Shrek. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? Did I write that? Yeah, he probably did. So this guy, this guy comes up, and he's like, Ooh, if you could collab with anyone in the world, who would it be? And your flow stage. And I'm just like, oh, I got you, bro. Shrek. Shrek. All right, have a good one. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's a way better answer than a normal one, it, right? It sounds like... The, I mean, it sounds like these are the reasons you are on the, that list. No, I mean, like, this, this is I, this is a real aspiration of mine. It's not, like, it's not a joke. It's so, just, like, I'm a so joke. would you say yeah. that your your top aspiration is to play the Shrek rave then? I mean, what's, if that's your goal. Oh, yeah, oh, my God. oh, I love the Shrek rave. I haven't yeah. been, but I love it. Well, oh I guess that's probably the time. There's, there's it's the, the, like shows, the shows everywhere. I've never yeah. been. I actually maybe really maybe you could headlight Wait, the next Shrek one. rave? Mm -hmm. There's a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind um, of a big deal, bro. It's it's, it's a big deal. I, I like I said, I've never been. It just looks fun. Yeah. I think everyone dresses in Shrek ears and stuff, and then goes yeah. to a oh. rave. Oh, yeah. paints themselves green. Where they have Where like a funny motto. So what's the yeah, Shrek I think rave they, motto? Like, tour it yeah. like all around the country. Wow. Yeah, I think there's a SpongeBob one too. Yeah, yeah there is. The Bikini Bottom. I, thing? Yeah. You know, yeah. I went to an underground Rick and Morty one. That shit was fun. Damn. Everyone was dressed all like of the different like raves. There's an anime one. Yeah. You name it, man. Oh, it's so fishing. basically the motto for Shrek Rave is cool is dead. Who cares? Huh. What? Okay. Fuck with it. Cool yeah, I mean, is dead. Who cares? Fuck the establishment. It's like, uh, yeah, I am yeah. cringe. I am free. Yeah, you know? it's like um, kill the part of you that cringes, right? Don't we, don't we talk do about that? Bring that up every, everything. <laughs> bring that up every podcast I'm on here. Yeah. On, a, on like, a, I guess, a, I know you, uh, on a semi-real level, do you have a favorite festival? Something that you want to play or haven't played or have played? Something that goes crazy? Um, mm, and nights. extend, do you ever like attend festivals anymore? Or yeah, you... it's, it's occasionally, yeah. Usually like down here in SoCal, this is some I'll go to. Like I went to Day Trip last summer just for fun. Oh, was, I fucking love Day Trip. It was just a good ass time, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Five and a house music mm -hmm. for like two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then occasionally I'll like go to... Uh, like any of the you know insomniac festivals around here if i like have some friends playing or something and just go hang out yeah. okay yeah. um do you have like a like a set that you remember that you played specifically that i mean you'll the edc set this year was pretty special just because like okay. that was one of the festivals as i'm sure a lot of people like always wanted to play yeah. yeah and i had been wanting to play that for so long i was actually booked to play it in 2020 and then the COVID happened Oof. and mm. then the stage that i was booked for they ended up uh I forget what happened. I don't know that it's announced, but it wasn't there anymore. It got turned into a new um, stage or something uh. when when they, uh, EDC eventually came back. Mm -hmm. and Art like, car? No, Art it car. was. Uh, I forget the name of it. It was a stage. It was. It was one of the smaller stages, but it was still a stage. Um, but anyways, that was the reason I didn't get booked when they brought it back. And then it was like two more years, and I finally got to play it last year. And it was on the base pod. And it was sunrise. So <sighs> it was sick. Wow. Yeah. Hell I was yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. At least you got to play on a bigger stage. No, exactly. Yeah, I wasn't like. I, you didn't I, care. It was just EDC. Like. No, I cared. I was more so <laughs> just like I wasn't like uh, I wasn't like <laughs> even expecting to get to play the base pod because like I was just I remember when I first got booked in 2020 I was just like ecstatic yeah. to be on the lineup. Yeah. yeah. And um, Stereo Bloom, I think that's what it was. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was thinking Stereo Bloom, but they but still have that. No, they, they still have it, but I think they rebranded or something. Some Records now. Yeah. It's mostly yeah. House music. yeah. It's so like it's not like Bass Music DJs on there. Yeah. It's like and, Tech House. Um, house. So yeah, that's the reason I had known like another like two or three years passed and then I finally got to come back on. But yeah, yeah it was sick. It was a base pod stage. Um, and that stage is huge now. Yeah. Yeah. And I just was, it was I was a little worried about, you know, being the last uh, set just because it's EDC so long. It's like 7 p.m. Yeah. to 5 a.m. You know, I was like, I don't know if anyone's going to be kicking around here. But even at, by the very end, the sun was up and the music was dead. There was still like a good amount of like just diehards out there that was yeah. really, really cool to see. So yeah i got dead center right in front of the production booth hard to keep my eyes open but it was fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> that just makes me think of um i remember uh was it 2022 more kismet set at the um circuit grounds yes the yeah. closing one yeah that stage is really cool up. yep yeah remember that i remember saint running off and she's like ah, i'm going to the front and i'm like all right i'm coming with you because yeah. I, I forgot who was yeah it was 
It was me, it was Clancy, and it mm-hmm. was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was saying, we just ran to the front, and it's just like, cool, we're going to like just finish out here. Yeah. Ah, oh, rave, that sunset rave memories. We love <laughs> beautiful. rave memories. At five in the morning. <laughs> no, seriously, that's slightly that's delusional. Delusional. I don't think I can't even function at five in the morning anymore. Like, And yet here you are still going to rave set until five in the morning. Killing it. Not her. She don't For EDC, that. yeah. No, no. Oh, she, I, I no, I, I think oh, you'd, no. Go to, you'd go to bed at like, what, midnight maybe? Yeah, that's that's my guess. You know what? That's my guess. You don't have an excuse. I'm 30 and I go to sleep at like 9 or 10 nowadays. <laughs> What's your bedtime actually? I'm curious. <laughs> Dude, uh, You're 31. Yeah. yeah. Okay, don't say it like that. Oh my God. <laughs> Why would you say it like that? You said it like it was okay, a Okay, I'm, t- I'm about to be I'm 30. Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm, just, I'm not actually upset. You should uh, be. But seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I, dude, I don't know. I'm like, I have time. I, I don't, I have spans where I'm like good and I'm like, you know, waking up at like 7 38 in the morning, meaning I got to sleep fairly early the night before. Yeah. And then it's other times where it shifts and then I'm like, you know, going to bed at like three in the morning and stuff. Cause like, I don't know. It takes one night of working on music and then I'm like, yeah. shit. Yep. Oh, yeah. the sun's up. I yeah. can't, I can't sleep earlier than, than like midnight. I, I can't either 100% midnight is the absolute earliest I, yeah. I don't remember the last time I fell asleep before midnight I, I will say it, it is an it is a practice because I was that person that you know I used to be noc- uh, nocturnal as well and sleep like two three four in the morning whatever yeah. now I'm back at midnight I used to fall asleep at like 9 or 10 p.m. but that's when I'm also waking up at like 6 a.m. 7 a.m. on purpose that's like, yeah that's Rising 9 or 10 is like a little too early for me and then I, if I could pick a time, it'd probably be like 11. I think yeah, that'd same. be perfect. Same. But I can't. And then yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm just laying here. So it's just stupid. <laughs> it, I think it just depends on it, how early your day starts. Yeah. Which when is I why can... like I try and start it earlier. But like, mm-hmm. I don't want to start it at like six or seven. And I don't want to start it at like 10 or 11. Yeah. So I'm thinking like eight or nine is the money spot. Yeah. But like, which is like so not early there's probably it's so not, many not. so many people out there that would be like oh my god dude i have to wake up at 5 30 for work yeah, like, yeah. Dude, Fuck that shit. yeah um, it's it's i have no room to be like oh yeah. man it's not oh god dude but like at the same time i don't have like to commute anywhere thankfully because yeah. i yeah. just uh, i'm an yeah. idiot music producer i just make music from home <laughs> so i don't have to be anywhere so just, make, just, just a stupid idiot. You just like, make if I, just, if I just like if I had somewhere I had to be, then I think it would be like I would yeah. force myself to get up earlier. But like, there is no yeah. closing time for being a stupid idiot either. No just, man, this yeah. shit's twenty four hours, yeah. bro. You can do really whenever you can do that whenever you want. Yeah. It's ingrained in your soul. Bro. I think, <laughs> sorry, I feel like I cut. Were you about to say something? Oh no, you're good. Okay. Right. I, I think I think for like uh, over here. film the <laughs> film industry is like. You gotta wake up at like 5 a.m. to get to a 6 a.m. thing. No, all if all it's if it's fucking still dark outside, I'm not Dude, getting out of bed. Fuck the, that. The couple times I PA'd right after college for mm-hmm. for like commercials and stuff. I did, I did that too. Did yeah. you yeah. really? Mm-hmm. That's what I did when I moved to LA. Yeah. But, whoa, it must I be an LA thing. <laughs> no, no I, mean, yeah, Dude, I mean, anybody can get a PA job. Yeah, you don't. I <laughs> That's I true, got yeah. like a. I went to college for like film shit. Oh, and you too. Yeah. Me too. Same. And I I was like, oh, that'll help. <laughs> did I? Yeah, I minored. Oh, oh I, see. I didn't finish the minor because okay. I didn't see the point. That, that was my face. major. Did you see that was face? <gasps> Me too. Well, yeah, you don't meet a lot of film <laughs> like film students. So I also went to school for film. Yeah, it was it was uh, broadcast production is what I was. Oh, that's dope. So, Whoa, yeah. I took a class in broadcast. Yeah, I love that. I was Where like, that'll just... that'll help with like you know getting work, and you come down here and it's like everybody. Oh, you everybody's can, doing it. No, it's to get like a PA job. It's like oh, uh, you like you can, you, you can. You're, you exist. Yeah. But it's like, okay, you, it's you not qualify. Difficult. Can you lift you're a chair? Yes. You know, quite literally, okay, you get the job. I'm like, I'm like, credentials. They're like, get that shit out of here, man. Like, I don't <laughs> care about this. It's Be more here like, at 5 30 in yeah. the morning. Can tomorrow. you do that? Work for 13 hours. Nothing. Yeah. And get paid $200 for oh, the I day. Oh, I got less, dude. I, got, oh, yeah. I, was, I was getting like 150 yeah, which at the dude. time, I was like, that's Holy like shit. almost a quarter of my rent. Fuck yeah, let's go. Today, Crazy. today it's like two fifty minimum. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I'm to, sure it's probably a lot more now. Oh, yeah. I I was commuting from Orange County at the time, so mm-hmm. I had to wake up at like four thirty in the morning. Yeah, and I had to eat breakfast and then drive all the way to fucking That's the tough. valley. I think the and worst. Castaic. Do you know where Castaic is? Yeah, Castaic Lake. Oh my god. Castaic that's, that's far. literally off of the I5. Yeah, where the Spartan race is. Spartan race is there. Yeah. Uh, I was shooting a mo- like a horror movie at night. So not only oh. do I have to wake up early like early, oh. but it's just like I'm there for 13, 14 hours. I have no idea where that is. It is it's it Santa is on Clarita? the I five north. Clarita's? Oh, okay. Super north, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was like fifty um, miles. Fifty yeah. miles. I had yeah. to go there every day for like 
three weeks. God damn. Oh, so you brutal. moved here. Where are you from? Um, I'm from, I always just tell people Seattle, but it's not Seattle. Okay. It's like a hour and a half away from Seattle. Really, really small town. It's called Belfair. Okay. Oh. It's nice, Interesting. It's a nice name for a town. It's just yes, yeah, a little a little thing. town. If I if, uh, if I say oh I'm from Belfair, it's like cool. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. What is that? That's a place. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, well, so Seattle area is well, why, like why'd you come here? You know what brought you down? <laughs> yeah, here? Why? yeah. Why'd you come yeah. here? Why? Do you live here now? Yeah. Yeah, I've lived here for eight years now. Okay. Um, you know what, man? I just wanted to chase my dreams. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> just wanted to. Just wanted to drive Go off, sunset behind me. I yeah. never wanted to look back, dude. <laughs> Beach, <laughs> homeless people. Hey, man, you achieved it picture. at Base Pod when the yeah. sunset what? was happening. Uh, yep, uh, yep, uh, yep. Uh, there it was, dude. Uh, that yeah. was my full and circle moment. Yeah. I had a fishing pole in hand. Circle five. Yeah. Yep. yep, you got the sixth funniest DJ on the, yeah, on the top dude. 20 list. Bro. Honestly, like, and now I'm dude. peaking so on yeah, the right. I'm peaking What's podcast. Dude, yeah. It's all downhill from here, 100%. Like, I've done it all. We apologize for having to do that to you. Sorry, it's okay. Yeah. We didn't mean to be that milestone. No, it's uh, this is yeah. this is what you work towards. Like, yeah. This is this is it. This, this is, is it. The, tip. That's, the, the top, and then after and then, this, and then it uh, just goes down. That's fine, man. I'm cool with that, dude. You're just riding the wave. Funnier than Shaq, you know. Yeah. Like got I, a 17 second uh, Soldier Boy speed yeah, run man. time. I've yes. done my. I've gotten my handful of accomplishments, you know. So. <laughs> Your resume is going to about to look yeah. really impressive. Wow. When yeah, you start but, going back to the don't PA, forget he's in he's in LA. They're going to take that resume like get this the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, yeah. He's going to go back Can to you the live PA. two chairs. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be like, "Hey, my my soldier boy speed run time 17 get seconds." Shit out of here. <laughs> Funnier than Shaq. Can you, like, please, one of your intros. I, I just let people know. Hey, by the way, I can do a soldier boy. Speed no, runs. one of your intros. Do it. Just, just do it. Yeah. Oh hell no! Do the amount of pressure to do that like publicly in front. Okay, of but people? you don't need to hit 14, 17 seconds. You can hit an average score of like it's thirty. Like, hey guys, Come on, watch like, this. Yeah, dude. Oh, so, true, somebody would yeah. give you a thirty-second run. You know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, what if it's just pre-recorded onto like your no, visuals? No, 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 no. Like laptop live view. <laughs> the whole thing, dude. Gone to your head. I'm trying like, to help him out, all right? <laughs> you got alligators behind him. Can't you get like an Ableton push, pull that out, then you'd be even faster? Uh, I don't know what that is, honestly. I'm such an FL nerd that yeah. anything Ableton comes up and I'm like, God. Oh, like, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. I suddenly yeah. don't know anything about music production. Well, no, seriously. That's God, you're guess, a producer? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have guessed. If huh. you put me no. in front of Ableton. I thought, honestly, like, I thought you were a YouTuber this whole time. I thought oh, Fruity yeah. Loops is a cereal. That's my most prized <laughs> title right there. Yeah. YouTuber. YouTuber. YouTube guy. Yeah. Internet <laughs> person. <laughs> guy. <laughs> That's me, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Hey, you heard it here first. The internet <laughs> guy. Guy. <laughs> he makes music sometimes. Occasionally. Uh, Speaking yeah. of internet guy, you guys saw that Bill Nye was at a Thunderdome, supposedly. Wait, what? Uh, was he really? Yeah, what he was. Wait, was yeah. he like doing a dubstep? What? No, he wasn't DJing. He was just in the crowd. No, no, no. But I, if I, Bill Nye I heard can something open about for him. EDC, I think Bill Nye can go enjoy a set at Thunderdome. At dubstep. I didn't know he was a bass head. That's sick. He was just there doing like conducting experiments. Oh. He actually, uh, he doesn't. Sonic you don't think he, think about and, it. Dubstep is a yeah. science, and if there's science, there's Bill Nye. <laughs> yep. Bill Nye, Bill like Nye everyone's kind of raving and stuff, and Bill Nye's like just like, ah, oh, god damn, can you turn this down a little bit? He's got like Trying a to clipboard, study. yeah, <laughs> and like just a various assortment of vials and shit, but and they're all like vibrating because of the music and stuff. And, well, like, what was that one video that like went viral where he's like, the world's on fucking fire, like, and he's like yelling at the camera? It's what like, if he was just like Earth Day or something? Yeah. What, what if he was just like, go to fucking raves, listen to fucking EDM. I think I brought this up last time. Drew Carey does that too, man. Oh, yeah. Really? Maybe yeah, he was yeah. just there raving then. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know that he it's was It's a secret, like... <laughs> bro. It's a secret to success, dude. Just go there to raves. Go. Just go to raves, dude, guys. Just imagine, like, all all the actors, all the phenomenal... Just seeing them at a festival, just... I mean, fucking nuts. they're there, bro. Dude, they're Bill there. Nye adopting the, like, yeah, f everything's fucked, dude. Just fuck it. Just go, <laughs> just like... Just do yeah, whatever you want. That's, like, dope and also kind of, like, scary. Like, yeah. what the, the fuck? The guy that knows the Bill Nye is just like, we're fucked, yeah. man. Just, like, <laughs> just go, go to Rames. Yeah, go to, go to Thunderdome, bro. Go to fucking... <laughs> that's, 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 oh, that that's, that's the essence. That's the essence of electronic music. I don't know. I didn't mean to make that depressing. It's like, it's like, oh, fun. Bill Nye's at Rames. And I'm like, oh, God. Bill Nye's at Rames, dude. What is that We're so... We're fucked. So fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No, that's Bill, dope though, Bill, man. I'm Jenny. It's probably a fun guy to be around. <laughs> I would imagine. Um, I just want to throw this in there, as uh, a lot of people do know that somebody did pass away at the recent 
LA Elenium show at SoFi Stadium. I don't know all the details. Someone, uh, I think they walked into the lake or the, you know, the man-made water pond thing. And Mm -hmm. unfortunately, they didn't come back out. And I just wanted to like, just remind everybody, like, let's, let's look out for our people. You know, like, I feel like if everyone was always looking out for each other, less things like this would happen. I'm not going to place blame on anybody. I don't know the whole situation, but um, let's just remember to look out for our people. Like, you know, you see somebody, you know, not moving or whatever at a festival or a show, just maybe check on them. Um, Just keep an eye out, not just for your own people, but for everyone. I think that's kind of like something important that I just really wanted to like put out there because unfortunately someone did pass away and uh, this could have been avoided. Yeah, I think it is. I think it just goes along the lines of like, you should be aware of your surroundings at mm-hmm. all times and uh that involves like you know also keeping an eye out for what's going on yeah. around you right mm-hmm. um so if you see something that looks a bit see off, something say something yeah, yeah like don't don't just don't just stand there uh or yeah it's called, literally called b- b- bystander effect like yeah yeah don't just don't just stand there like, like diffusion say, of say responsibility something. yeah <laughs> like and, and you don't have to like go and stop it yourself but you at least Get should help. say something yeah say yeah. something to someone yeah but yeah, let's not have any more of these because, um, yeah, the more the more they happen, it's like, there's plenty of there's no excuse to not know about this stuff at this point. I yeah. mean, awareness is everywhere, but like if you make sure you're looking out for your friends on like a real level, because yeah. the night gets really not fun when stuff like that happens. Yeah. Yeah. So like it's the opposite of what you're going there to do. And if we all just like Nan said, you just look out for each other, it becomes a safer space. Like it yeah. just does, yeah, yeah naturally. So. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. we said something about yeah, that. Yeah, don't just rely on like security to do everything, you know, like it's it's a communal effort. So we're here, love and light. Share it. Share it with everybody. Let's Hell move on yeah. to something brighter and something yes. happier, please. Heard that. We got some fan <laughs> questions. And uh this one is kind of a kind of a curveball. I don't actually know what this is referring to, but I'm gonna ask it kind of in the way that I want to ask it. Um who the fuck is Walter? And is he actually your ghost producer? That a fan asked that question? <laughs> yep, Mr. Cordy Music. Cordy Music. <laughs> You're a fan and you he don't know might, what Walter is, he might dude? Be. That's wild, man. Walter's my cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Walter is my cat. Not only is my, he my cat, but Walter is, Walter is my world, dude. Yeah. So and he's your ghost producer. So he's your and ghost he's my ghost producer. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just got a little pause. He goes on the computer. And he's like, this, this little thing is adorable. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He wrote the whole album. Um, no, he's, he's a little tuxedo cat. I've had him for nine years now. He's moved down here with me. He's just like, a, he's just he's just a little guy. He just hangs out in my, it's almost. This is my burger. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's my burger. <laughs> this is my burger. I thought you just had a picture. I was of like, yeah, that's, that is a cat. Yeah, that's your cat. Awesome. This is my burger. Hell yeah, dude. Cats are dope. I, I'm, I I, people cat. always think I'm like a cat person. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I am a cat person, but I also am a dog person. I love them both. Yeah, just, like just like can't animals. have a dog. Yeah, that's so, that's um, so that's the secret then. If you're like if you travel a bunch and and stuff, the cats are very self yeah, self, yeah. Uh, independent. Yeah, that's know? true. That's a good point. You can but, leave, you can leave a cat by itself for a couple days and it's gonna be fine. You can't mm-hmm. do that with a dog. Yeah. I will say though, if you do leave your cat for like a week and you have like a really good bond to begin with, they will be mad when you oh, come I've back. Never, the longest I've left him is like three days tops, yeah. and um, if it's any longer than that, I I have uh, I'll either take him somewhere or have someone check on him. But usually, yeah. if I'm going away for a weekend, it's like two days, and he hangs out. I got a little cat cam. I can watch him. All, yeah, but. same. Yeah, <laughs> no, man, that's just Walter's just a cat. He's he hangs out, and I never intended him for him to be like this big. He's, people are like, is he big now, <laughs> dude? People are like, yo, Walter's like your brand. And I was like, I didn't. I just think he's cute, so I like post How pictures of him and stuff. <laughs> and I like put him in YouTube videos, and like I did the yeah. I turned my cats meow into dubstep because I was like, I don't know. Sometimes he makes little noises, and then and now he's just like such a huge part of like myself on the internet and i was like okay that's he's how it a goes. star i it's walter's world we're just living in it dude i he's got his own instagram page naturally yeah, yeah, and uh i posted like it's just a video of him of, i actually haven't looked in a long time now but he got a video out of nowhere to get like 18 million views or something what? <laughs> it's like this is crazy man this is my cat and he's like <laughs> got like twelve thousand instagram followers now it's like you know what that means amazing. right it means i need that peterina or not peterina that's dog food i need that like fancy fee sponsorship you could, yeah, dude. i was gonna say i think you need to make an, an instagram for walter and, he, and he does. Does. that's oh, what we're talking about oh that's what oh yeah. i thought it was on your no profile. no 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 it was on his no, no. oh my god oh <laughs> no, yeah yeah popping. you get get those brand deals bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those brand trying deals. to transition out of music into like cat social media <laughs> stuff Dude, like, they get paid 
You know, pet low pages genius. get paid a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw one who got paid like 200K. That's so much. In a year. <laughs> Walter. My DMs are open. Walter's price. DMs are open. You, you know? know what's crazy though? Yeah. It actually kind of makes sense why they get paid so much. Brand. Because like these brands have the money to actually be able to pay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And here's the thing. Uh, like like pet owners love to spoil the shit out of their pets usually yeah, yeah and dude pets are just like who doesn't enjoy just I like just recently pet, got bro? socks with my dog on it bro <laughs> i have i have little circle lenses for my cat <laughs> so like i'm actually like kind of building a series with my roommate right now like anytime we do like some dubstep stuff i just bring burger into the the, to the view put the little sunglasses on and she's like Burger's a fire name for it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. I want to get. I want to get. Uh, in the future, hopefully, if Burger is still alive and you know I can get a dog because I'm not traveling as much, yeah. is a, a three-legged dog that I will call Fry, and it'll be like Burger and Fry. Burger and Fry, dude. <laughs> yes, I had two goldfish. I called them fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 died. No, oh, no. I could have left that last part out. They were, <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mean, uh, that's I, I like this conversation because this is like I got this is, you. This is such a like subvert expectation conversation, and it's it's tickling my little brain. Uh, uh, dude, I, can't. I actually got like the two uh, the two fish and chips, and then I got a third one, and I think he's what fucked things up because I got uh. a third goldfish, and I didn't name it uh, uh, anything funny. I just named it Steve. <laughs> I think Steve was Steve mad. Steve came in and just fucked everything up, dude, because in like a few months they were just like dead. What else is Fuck Steve, Steve going to do? Steve. No, I mean, I don't want to put the blame on Steve. But like, <laughs> do you still have Steve? No, this is 10 years ago. <laughs> Steve is still alive. Steve's still hot. <laughs> Steve. I haven't Steve. cleaned his tank in seven years. Yeah, he's, he's still, still around. around. Steve is just in the tank going. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there was a second part of that question. I don't know if there was. No, I, no. It was just Walter. The, the question is, is actually Walter your ghost producer? Oh, that's, yeah. That's the, yeah, that the I'll question. I'll just say, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah, he's gotta help you pay the rent. Yeah. In this in this economy with this inflation. Yeah. Now you wanna go next? Yeah. Um if you were to be abducted um by aliens, how would you describe your music to them? Um and let's just pretend they can actually like they speak understand English. English? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll be like, What up, dogs? Uh <laughs> I make like <laughs> Just like a combination of like, you know, like if you take uh, early inspirations from like, I don't know, like, I don't know, very early jazz music and then like, I don't know, potentially mm -hmm. like sort of if you mm -hmm. <laughs> just put some really like just loud ass drums over that and then um, take like a, like a ripped copy of Ma uh, Native Instruments Massive and then do like the modern talking and then resampled that a whole bunch until it's just like really it makes beep up yeah beep up, you, you up. gotta pitch it up a whole bunch which, <clears throat> you know and Grab then some mayonnaise you, you get some mayonnaise in there you know <laughs> honestly like, you gotta put all this stuff in like one big thing you know and then it's yeah. like just, starts. you like do that entire explanation they're like did you just call us dogs <laughs> I, I was i was gonna say like <laughs> yeah, you that's explain, the part they're stuck on. <laughs> yeah. explain your music just hand walter to them and just just wait Honestly, yeah, I'd be like, you guys explain it, dude. You're the fucking aliens, yeah. man. Dude, you found a way to come to my planet. Yeah, what the hell? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You guys do interplanetary travel. I don't know you shit. <laughs> okay. Um, Daniel dot... I can't pronounce that. Um, how to grow a thicky mustache. How to grow a thicky mustache? Yeah. I mean, concentration. Let it, let it ride, baby. Concentration. Yeah, concentration. <laughs> Ten minutes a day. Sit there in the mirror and just stare at it. Wait, is it? Is it it's like a grow? Is it like how? Is it, on, you is it how like you know? Is it how like you talk to plants? You know, like you're supposed to like be positive. Your plants are really yeah. good. Like, hey, Do you you're doing so good, baby. Like, here? you got to keep on no, growing. So the mustache is the opposite. You need to like talk down to it. Oh. You need to just degrade the fuck out of it. The fuck you just think you're like doing? You stupid, your worthless mustache. It dude. grows like, like super patchy. You thin <laughs> wispy yeah, because that helps it develop shit. like a you know like kind of a, a thick skin, a rugged skin. Yeah. 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 And character. It, right? And then it's just like I shouldn't be saying this, dude. My mustache is not like the the man stash over here, dude. I got like well, it's because. You gotta talk about it. You gotta talk to it. In the yeah, morning. I'm it's too like, nice to it, man. I wake up. I'm like, hey, good morning. Yeah, you know, you gotta yeah. be like, you, you piece of shit. You just can't yeah. get yourself to do it. You gotta, you gotta give it character development. Mm -hmm. like, you yeah. think, like, you think you have Hulk Hogan vibes? No, you don't fucking have Hulk Hogan vibes. You think you're good, better than me? No. I had that kind no. of mustache once. It was sick. Got a compliment from mustache. every every guy. Compliment every girl, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, about the, now? The opposite. 
<laughs> How about now with the rest of your beard? This is, I mean, th you th could, this you is mean, like you a, could just shave right now that's, and have the, that's have what I, back. that's yeah. what I did. Yeah. So I just shaved all that because I want to try it. I mean, of course mm -hmm. I want to try it. Yeah, and that was, those were the results of my experiment. Uh, yeah. Nice. So, could nice. go back to it. I liked it. It was cool. It was cool. Yeah. Was cool. Yeah. I kind of want to, now I just want to see you with like just the mustache. I'll do it. I'll yeah. do it once. Yeah. yeah. I got you. All right. Once. I don't mind. One more time. You know? you know what the crazy part is? He'll probably just like go to the bathroom during the break, come back, and it's grown <laughs> back already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten, That'd be scary. Ten million likes. Yeah, he's he's I'll really demeaning to his mustache. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yk Jesse, uh, zero underscore zero says, "Fix a mistake. What would it be?" Wow. <laughs> oh my God. That's a. That's a. That's a my life. Question. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Can I just like? Can I just like? Uh, be like. Um. Uh. Shit. Uh. I. I burnt toast the other day. Oh, that's, yeah. Man, wish I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> what have you got? So many new. Right, next question. <laughs> Let's not go too deep into that one, dude. Oh, I got. I, I got a good one that I'd like to read. Yeah. Uh, different ways you handle creative blocks and managing the multiple deadlines that you have. Ooh. From Emma Hoff O2. All right, good question, Emma Hoff O2. Um, the creative blocks. I've talked a bunch about this before. I'm probably just gonna say all the things I've, I've said a bunch because that I stand. I think they're good. Uh, like <laughs> your writer's stamp, block. Your I, approval. Yeah, I stand on them, dude. Um, if you're hitting really. writer's block, uh, do better. Some just of kidding. these are some of these are gonna be more a little like niche, like uh. Like if you're a music producer and you, and you do like hit writer's block, the number one thing that I always, aside from like, yeah, go outside, take a walk, you know, I was about to say, go take a walk. Yeah. That's, you should be doing that anyways. Yeah. You know? So that's just with that goes without saying, um, and do other stuff, you know, find other stuff to do. Like that shouldn't be just, if you have writer's block, that should just be regardless, like, you know, find other things to do that you like doing. It doesn't have to be just music. You know, you can do other stuff. Yeah. Um, with all that said, what I like to do when I hit writer's block is, um, find new stuff to work with so like if you're using the same sample libraries this is when like this this seems kind of obvious when you think about it but like i don't know there's a lot of times where i hit super bad writer's block and then all it took was like downloading a new sample pack or something or just finding new stuff to work with yeah a new plugin anything that just instantly sparks up like you, you and then you're yeah you're off again so like i don't know stuff like that that makes sense it's like that uh finding the new thing like getting that dopamine from that uh yeah it's just new like thing. it's new yeah. i don't know sometimes you'll not even realize it It'd be like man i've used like these drums for in so many songs now that they they don't sound any different but to me they sound worse because i've heard them so many times yeah so, like, yeah so in a way it's like this sounds boring to be now because yeah. i've heard it so many times yeah or just like watching other content i feel like yeah that's another thing yeah watching uh listening to other music too yeah oh yeah um and making other stuff if you're like let's say you're, you're you're trying to make some dubstep and you're like shit i can't make any dubstep i'm fucked <laughs> that's it that's, that's it. it that's it <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's the end of the story it was, a, it was a good career it was a good career and you had a chance <laughs> yeah, yeah you tried wasn't meant to be you time to hang up the yeah. time to hang up the cd that's disc. Go. that's no but like okay make uh make doesn't even have to be like dance music make anything Throat singing yeah, dude. Do some throat singing. Yeah. Do yeah. Yeah. make any yeah. other some opera any other there. thing at all. Anything. Uh, Create Hamilton, but name it George Washington. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I come on. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You get it. You get yeah. it. Come yeah. on. That. It's like uh, it's like fishing. <laughs> it's like fishing. Uh, Go, yeah. fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Damn. That's it right there. Damn. That's the solution. Well, honestly though, thinking about all of this is just like I feel like in any creative field, not even just any creative field, any kind of like mental block you might have, the thing that you have that block for, just don't make that your whole life. I feel like, yeah, music is everything, but you also got to do other stuff. Like if you, all you do all the time, 24 seven is just make music. Yeah, because what if like nothing happens out of that and then you just wasted your whole life? Well, it's not that. It's more so like, how do you get inspired to create in the thing that you're doing if you're only ever doing that thing? Mm. Yeah. And I feel like there's rare instances where it doesn't... Um, because like i love making music it's not like i sit down i'm like oh fuck i have to make music like i, yeah. I it's yeah. genuinely like what i love to do and so there's some days where that there's some weeks where like that's the, <laughs> that's the only thing i'm gonna do because it's all i want to do that's especially, yeah. especially when i was in the final stages of the album dude i was like taking that a little too far doing like just nothing else mm -hmm. um but even if that's like your obsession it's still good and beneficial to have yeah. anything else Hobbies, i like i like, like uh i like just filming and editing and yeah. stuff 
editing not so much i kind of fucking hate it but like i I'm, like I'm to do opposite, like bro. i'd like oh, to do cinematic you're telling me. shit like, you know? so you edit yeah. like yeah. all your videos i did you, yeah but you, the youtube videos i did um myself for years and that's more of kind of a boring style of editing like for the album i did this whole entire visual for the whole thing it's like 46 minutes long and that was wow. like my post album like passion project where like Whoa. i spent like three months on it and it's it's just cool visual stuff that i shot most Pixels. of it on my iphone and yeah. then just like edited. yeah but i don't know that was like my post album hobby type thing where like i, I didn't even open the DAW for like a long time and i was just yeah working on that for you so. do, do you use premiere i do and i it's the bane of my existence i fucking hate it, it really yeah you know what i've used premiere for about 15 years i've used now. it since i was in high school yeah so, same yeah. and and honestly i used to think that but now it's a I great program. It. it just, it's, there's so many times where it just, it runs like garbage. That's, that's it's true. It's so annoying. It it's like for the most simple task, all of a sudden your computer's just like, mm. even if you have a computer built like fucking NASA, dude, it's like, it doesn't matter the, the, how powerful the hardware is. Sometimes just, the program just sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's reason. like the best of the program, uh, the best of the softwares that exist, but also it just sucks at doing what it's supposed I to I don't standard. see that thing. I don't really know. There's like a, a lot of people were like, switch to this, switch to that. And I'm like, I don't, I don't even know if they're better, but I just don't want to relearn a whole new thing. Yeah. yeah. Not it's fair. just, I'm stubborn. I'm yeah. just like trapped in it. But I mean, generally speaking, Premiere is like the, like, it's an industry standard, it though, is, for sure. Well, there's like is, Final Cut. And stuff I use like Final Cut. There is Final Cut, yeah. but I, I, or I da think Vinci. Premiere, Da Vinci, yeah. yeah. Da Vinci, yeah. It's so funny. I was just explaining it to Michelle last night. But like, yeah, Premiere is definitely like the standard for, for the industry. And, yeah. I use Final Cut else. because Premiere doesn't run very good, and I don't have time to sit there and wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but that's because you didn't learn. It. Nope, it's I know like both that. of them. Because oh. I, I did like filming and stuff all the way up through school. Like I never went to film school, but I made like <laughs> dumb skate videos. And I feel like I feel like yeah. it's probably like Premiere is probably more like collaborative. That's the thing. Because like if, if you have a file, generally speaking, everyone's going to be well. The doing Adobe everything. has like an ecosystem. So there's Photoshop, there's Adobe After Effects, all that stuff. Yeah. Like works together to yeah. be yeah. music yep. or video production. So yeah, yeah. yeah. which yeah. makes it super easy. Like if you need to do like render an animation right. in After Effects, you as can long just as you drag, pay them drag the subscription, that yeah. yeah. Fee. Well, yeah. I was also. Thinking, like, you know, <laughs> that usually helps. I, I heard you yeah. did have to do that. In that is required. Let's not leave that out. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but we don't pirate our music. I mean, we don't pirate our uh, premiere. I used to. I, I, I actually don't. don't. I, just, I straight up, am, I'm getting cocked, dude, by Adobe. Just like it's like it's like twenty two it. bucks a month or something. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Just for premiere, twenty two a month. Yeah. That's, yeah. I think what are you paying? I'm paying like fifty. That's for all apps. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I that's do use all of them. Too. I just use Photoshop <laughs> and Adobe. So oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been using Lightroom and After Effects occasionally. It used to be, you know, used to be back in the, back in the day. It used yeah. to be you could just buy it outright. Yeah. yeah. Not do payments, you know. <laughs> But then if it crashed, you'd just be kind of fucked. Now it's, you're essentially, you're paying for That's the, if you pirated it, yeah. No, no, even back then when you just bought it, if it just crashed, it'd be pretty much fucked. But now because it's a subscription base, they're always constantly updating and fixing it. Yeah. They do Life. have a lot of bugs. Life. Yeah, fishing. Fishing. Yeah. Fishing. <laughs> fishing. Uh, any other questions you guys want to ask? No. Some of them are repeats. Yeah. My question, if I, I have a question, yeah, but it's producer, so... I don't know if you guys. I'll make want it that. very like uh, not. I'll make it cool. I keep bringing it up. I'll make it. I cool. keep bringing it up. I need to know about the snare roll incident. I wasn't there. <laughs> okay, no, check it out. I'm gonna explain it to where anyone listening can understand what the snare roll incident was. Okay. okay. So picture a snare drum like a pizza pie. Yeah. Okay. And what I did is I accidentally ordered instead of one pizza pie, I ordered sixty-two thousand of them. Okay. So I'll try and imagine. 62,000 pizza pies stacked up on top of each other. You're like, damn, that's a lot of pizza pies. Probably just call them pizzas. I don't know why I'm calling them pizza pies. <laughs> Sounds cooler. Yeah. We're talking like whole pizzas so, or just slices? Oh, whole ass pizzas, like box of pizza. And, oh. uh, and let's get rid of the boxes. So it's just the pizzas and they're stacked up. They're stacked up to the moon because that's a lot of pizzas. So this narrow incident is essentially getting someone to, you know, push the pizzas like there's 62,000 pizzas stacked on top of each other <laughs> and then squishing the pizzas all the way down until it's just one pizza. Just one. And then that's one the snare roll incident. Massive pizza. And it probably made so much sense the way I just described it. If anybody knows what the snare roll incident 
it was, then yes. Yeah, I'll do a super quick does. actual explanation. It was like a snare and I did a, I just repeated it and then I shortened it and then I kept copying and pasting it until it was like a gajillion snares and then I resampled the noise it made and then I shortened that noise and then put it in a song and then it sounded cool. Honestly, I can understood I, I it that it? way. I, think I understood that I way. I understood more. it that way. Yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys? Do you guys know what is? Let's start yeah, from now ground I just one. Want pizza. I thought let's the start pizza from explanation was so good. Do dude. you know what a snare is? No. Yes. I, yeah. Well, we, I we got to start there. No, yes. Do you know what a snare is? Yes. I do. Okay. Do we know what a snare roll is? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you just take a snare roll, and you add a lot more snares to it yeah. in the same amount of time. I don't know. I think the pizza way is better to. <laughs> I, I like. I like the pizza. I like it. Was, it was good. It was good. <laughs> One amalgamation of snare cheese. Can we hear the the sound? Uh, Honestly, my yeah. Stick to the jacket. stick to the ah, theme. Shit. I could like find it really quickly and just play like a thing. Yeah. If it's on, uh, if you go to my Instagram page, it's probably there. You don't have to scroll down a little bit, but it's also actually easier to be YouTube. YouTube shorts. YouTube shorts. Popular tab. Because I don't have that many YouTube shorts up, it'll be way easier to yeah. find. You just gotta a, a eliminate YouTube channel. Okay. And then go to shorts. And then it is this. Yeah, I like right that. Here. Devin, put this in the edit. You might have to start it. Oh no, this is fine. Robert, Robert, put this in, please. So that's the snare roll getting faster. That's cool. That's the pizza descending to her. <laughs> the pizza's getting squished. That just keeps getting cooler. <laughs> it really suck if it got worse. <laughs> How I many? started putting some effects and plugins on it to change it a bit. How many times did you just double it? Oh, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> I don't know. Has that become like an iconic like snare roll for you? Or oh, I, just I, I used time? it just in that one it's thing. Like a, that wasn't even a song. It was just like a beat battle yeah. I was doing on Twitch. So I, <laughs> I, I you need to put in your next song. I, uh, I probably could have put it in the album. I, I didn't even think of that. But um, it was no. I was just zoned out. Sometimes I forget I'm even fucking streaming and I'm just like sitting there. And that one minute clip is probably condensed down from like ten minutes. <laughs> just, just staring at a snare, man. Doubling the yeah. snare over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you make content, kids. That's how you. It's just. That's. It's just. just it, no, it's a consequence of making content. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, I guess um, now would be an appropriate time to uh, listen to another one of your songs from your album. Mm. Something with a snare. Uh, which you will need your phone for. Um, yeah, it's in that white jacket. jacket there, sir. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. Uh, so, like, I could play, like, a trappy song. I could play. Um, mm. I what could play feeling? a more melodic ravey song. I could play. Uh, are we doing? I like the melodic. Play, uh, the, uh, the acoustic. Uh, are we doing an unreleased one? Or are we doing a release? No, no, this is all from the new album. From the album. I don't even have any unreleased music. <laughs> yeah. He's I like, just, I already released it's all right. it. We, I we just, figured. Uh, it's like, what more do you so want? I, I just released my, it my all. Two, my two favorites are "You I Go Trip" and "Fuck this. You." Those are my two favorites. You want me to play? I'll play "Fuck You." Fuck You's a really good one. Yeah. Play that. Um, fuck me. Fuck you. Yeah, it's again like that's probably the least dancey. I don't know if you guys probably have a, a very large dance music audience, so yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. necessarily they play like the melodic. Let's do they melodic. Like the melodic. Stuff. Okay, I'll play "Waste My Time" then. That's you know maybe that'll get some uh, mm-hmm. some 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 people on board here. "Waste that, My Time" that is that like one has a, videos to go with it too. If they people, all do. if people oh they all do the whole yeah. visualizer is on my YouTube channel. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. oh. it's, it's no, but I mean like the the "Waste My Time" one has like a production process video on it too, right? Or no. Oh yeah, I did a little one on the vocal chop. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, I'll play that one. Sure. This is uh, second to last song on the album, so kind of a closing vibe. Oh, I remember this one. <clears throat> so pretty sounding. Yeah, I didn't intend that to happen. I just, it just happened. <laughs> I was just making cards, and I was like, "Oh, this is very happy, pretty."
jabbed a million times right now. <laughs> like tickled. <laughs> Okay. Sick. So. I actually might have something to play for you guys. Hey, this, yo. Well, this, so this song, this song is uh, called Waste My Time. It was kind of very heavily inspired by like early dance rave bangers yeah. that are just like I don't know have yeah. that, that yeah. you know that very specific Euphoric sound kind of like sound yeah and um I always wanted to kind of make a song like that so this is the version I landed on but the the song was originally called Waste No Time ah. and I think I have a version I could play Ooh. this is like I never released this is way earlier no I, I don't even want to call it unreleased because I don't know if it's ever going to come out VIP uh -oh. VIP not even a VIP it's just it's draft it's one earlier <laughs> version of the song and so I have to heavily say that because I don't know if I'm ever going to do anything with this maybe yeah. I, I guess know. we'll find out. I'm curious to see how guys want to around and find out. Bro. I gotta. There's so many different versions. I don't know which one to play. I, know, I see all the different. Yeah. Mini, mini, mo. I'm gonna try this one. Um, and it, it this this version is not. It has like the melodic aspects, but it has. <laughs> Sorry, that was Wait, so that fucking loud. Would, so would you mind? Very loud. Would you mind just giving so like a proper like, context loud. intro? I wonder if yeah, that was mastered. I mean, yeah. So the song I just played is called "Waste My Time." It's on my album, and it's like a very happy, uh, you know, yeah, melodic thing. This this is a much earlier version of the same song, um, but it had a different variation of the vocal, which is just a splice sample yeah. that says "Waste No Time." It says, "I don't want to waste no time." Got it. And I changed it to I just want to waste my time in the actual final version. Got it. And this one has um, not such happy, fun drops. They're more just Dark. sound puke, disgusting, gross shit. And oh, I, hear it. I don't know if I, it's a very early version of the song, so I don't know if I'm ever actually going to release it. Need to need to put that out there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe on the deluxe album or something. He's saying, "Let don't let even him know. know." I'm gonna do a deluxe version. He's I'm saying, gonna, "Let him know what you guys think." <laughs> I'm gonna stop yapping and press the. <laughs> oh, that's a whole different. This is a different like, song. Mood. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> So this part's pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. Dan, down just a little bit. Oh! oh. Yeah, it's a little weird. That's it, you're coming out with it, that's it. It. Those are Thank definitely you. two very different songs. Exactly. So I, I Man took cook, cooking pots and just I put it in still that play drop. the the. I think I I've been playing the second drop of the version I just played uh, at like shows and stuff forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then when it came to m finishing the song, I there's probably a handful of people that would be like, "What? The, the this is way but like the old version sucks or something." But like that's subjective, you know. It's, yeah. Uh, I, I feel I, like the one you released was very cinematic. It's different. It's different. That's why I, I was like always kind of planning to use it as like um, one of the ending songs on the album. And I was like, I don't want a bass banger to be like, you know, yeah. the second to last song. Um, but it's a bass banger. That was so sick. This is something I still play live. If you want to, you know, eliminatehq.com slash tour. You can buy tickets. <laughs> <laughs> 
they're on sale now. If yeah, haven't speak, already sold speaking, out. Speaking of plug-in, plug-in that shit in. Not bringing on the screen right here. Like you're not gonna see it right there. Like uh, I, I think know. that was a great note to to end it off on. Really honestly. sick. That was, really yeah, sick. Yeah, no, really though. No, that That's was pretty fun. That was that was I will really sick. I will very much consider like doing just, something with this. I think it's um, just an official VIP at this point. Yeah, maybe it could be. That was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Um, but but, but it, I do recognize how you didn't want to like have that be your closer, yeah. considering yeah. like you wanted that cinematic energy. I was really attached to the chords, and I was like, I want to do something happy and fun and bright with this. Very and nice. also the drop. I didn't even mention this. I should have mentioned this. The drop that I have in the main song is the second drop of this version. Mm, so what I did oh. is I just moved the second drop to the first drop, and then I was like, okay, from there I could go into this big heavy bass drop, or I could just keep the vibes rolling and then end on like that note and then save gotcha. this for something else so this is i potentially was going to do this as a completely different song on the album but i ended up not doing it so now it's wow. just it's just chilling um but we'll give some more attention to it in, uh, later let him let him know let him know let, let him know him like know. this is where i plug <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, no, this go, is perfect. Plug, actually, go plug this is yeah, perfect. No, what, what do you have coming oh, up I right now? You said let him know. I was like, yo, I'll plug. Yeah, yeah oh, but also that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a. I'm, I, I don't know when this is coming out, but I'm pr- probably either about to go on tour or I'm already on tour, and it's the first headline tour I've done in in an extremely long time, and it's just touring my album, my mm-hmm. album that just came out, get off the internet. Yeah. So um, you can get tickets if you, even if you like don't like my music. I'm sure by watching this podcast, you're like, damn, that guy's like incredibly. He's so he's funny. The number six funniest he's DJ. So yeah. Funny. And he's like, that's so. I gotta buy tickets because it's, it's funny. Uh, DJ, yeah. DJ tour. Yeah. 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 And, and 17 second Soldier Boy speed run. Like, yeah. Come on. yeah, dude. God, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I want to buy tickets. Yeah. yeah I, dude. I, I you gotta, you gotta bait them with all that information. We yeah. already bought. You know? We already yeah. bought. We already got. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you better get yours too. Actually, it's uh, sold out. So thanks for no, it's do- it's not <laughs> it's not actually I don't I don't know if it it's is, coming but, out February twenty eighth. So uh, oh, oh perfect, that's like a month before the tour even starts. So Let's go. go get the tickets. Buy your tickets. You have time. Uh, yeah, it's just eliminatehq.com slash tour. You can go there. You Boom. can find your city. I'm doing a bunch of dates in the U S. and I'm doing some more that aren't announced yet. So if you don't see yourself on there, there's a chance that you might. And um, check out the album. I worked a bunch on it, and it would be cool if you checked it out. And even if you don't like it, you could still be like, damn, that guy worked really hard on that. <laughs> yeah. I can respect that. Wow. A what for a, effort. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the next, the next yeah. time you go fishing, you can just like bring a speaker out there and play that. You, you know, know probably it's catch great something. fishing music. Actually, it's when I was thinking about music. that, you know what? Fishing is like, it's a lot like life. Yep. Um, yeah. 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 And, and you know what life is a lot like? This music podcast. production. Oh. Well, but that's good you said that because music production is kind of a lot like this podcast and podcasting in general yeah so, we're really crazy. We're, we're really figuring crazy. it out over yeah here. Like wow we're, we're, we're really connecting the dots here it's yeah. just Amazing. the circle of life go listen to some music guys <laughs> well thank you guys for yeah. tuning Patreon. in yep. yeah just want to let you guys um, know oh yeah go yeah yeah go uh, well i just wanted to big shout give a big shout out to everyone who's watching thank you for uh being here we love you guys and if you want to tune in for some bonus segments that we shot exclusive just for our patreon members Go catch us there because it's some it's, it's some fun stuff. Because it's exclusive. Yeah. Right? yeah, just for you guys. Yeah. yeah, we listen to we listen to copyright music which we can't and listen we say to some on more this. juicy mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, we play two truths <laughs> and a lie. And, so um, um, uh, and this is a this is a great time to, for us to be able to like. <laughs> what the fuck, Mickey? <laughs> This is a great time for us. I love that like listening to copyright music is like this bad yeah, boy. Like dude, it like, is though. Yo, we're uh, we're uh, deep UMG cuts, yeah, dude. Take like the that whole YouTube. time. Take that UMG. Yeah. <laughs> we're just oh, we're going, we're diving so deep into it, man. It's crazy. It's like right, the biggest, the biggest of the biggest. Yeah. 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 But yeah, during this time, we'll have uh, all of our patrons uh, up, their, all their names up on screen. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting. Like it seriously means so much. And you know, as a mm-hmm. podcast that. Um, um, you know, we're, we're still figuring everything out. Like you guys have really helped support us. And even if you don't subscribe to the Patreon, we still, still love, love you guys. Thanks for vibing. Yeah. Man. Thank you yeah. for coming in and checking out the episode. Smash uh, that notification bell. Share this with your friends. Comment who you want to see next. And we'll catch you in the Patreon. Later. See you guys in two Bye. weeks. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>